For those of you who may be just joining us, a little bit of background. The party, um, through many different ways, ended up in a realm called Barovia. Most of them arrived there as if they were waking up from a dream, having fallen asleep or entered some sort of trance while staring at some sort of fire. Each dream featured a misty landscape mirroring the mists of Barovia. After regaining their senses, meeting each other, struggling through um, what appeared to be a haunted house, the party learned that they were in this land called Barovia, which was ruled by an ancient vampire named Strahd von Sarovic. The group had their fortune told, which revealed the location of three powerful artifacts that could help them. The party has recovered two so far, the holy symbol of Ravenkind and the Tome of Strahd, which the party ended up handing over to someone else. They have yet to find the third artifact and they have yet to find the ally they told existed. Lastly, the fortune told them that they were likely to encounter Strahd himself at a particular location in the castle. Last time, the party recovered from their battle against a cult of druids who were summoning a lifelike statue 50 feet tall mirroring the body of Strahd himself. Um, after uh, winning the battle, the lizard folk druid Saurive stayed behind, thinking he could perhaps temper this evil magic that infested this area, these ritual grounds. The party then recovered and returned a magical gem to a nearby vineyard. The gems were the only thing keeping the vines growing, keeping the wine flowing through Barovia, one of the few joys that Barovians have. After that, the party took a load of wine, their promised reward for ridding the Yester Hill, the ritual grounds of the Druids. They took their reward, brought it to the village of Kresk, and were allowed entry. They met the Burgomaster, Dmitry Kreskov, learning that his son had died about a week ago. In Kresk, they also uh, went to the Abbey of St. Markovia, a place they were told was likely to be a stronghold, a place perhaps beyond Strahd's influence, a safe place. There they met the abbot, a strange figure, youthful, though supposedly ancient, who was doting on a construct built from parts of female human corpses. They also met a number of creatures, humanoid, though seeming to be made from the parts of many different animals, even different limbs, one scaled, one fur-like, even faces bisected, fur and uh, regular skin strange, demented creatures. At the very end of the session, the party had just uh, been offered food by the abbot, who then declared that the Morning Lord wished the Burgomaster's line continue and that his last son should not lie dead beneath the earth and told the party to grab some shovels. So the abbot stands and gracefully makes his way towards the door, looking back towards Vasilka, the construct, saying, you just stay here now, my dear. We've got some work to do down in the village. Won't you bow and say goodbye to our friends? To which this uh, pale woman, you can now see where Carefully covered by makeup, there is indeed a what looks to be a part in the flesh, as if two halves of faces were stitched together. And she makes a clumsy bow towards you, and then writes herself. Oh, quick! Okay, I, I, I have a quick chat with everyone if we can. <laughs> Just so. While this might be a stronghold, I do not think that this is a place that we can bring um, our friend. Agreed? I agree. Um, let's not, let's not. current state. 
I'm no. shocked we're even having this discussion. Well, I just, I've been confused in the past, as you might have noticed. I believe that. True. Um, a, I mean, the DM. Mm-hmm. Um, so earlier I had, it, it, at the towards the end of the last session, I had utilized um, Divine Sense, um, and he, like, made that comment to me. Um, but I'm, I'm curious, um, from having used that, um, do I know whether the area is hallowed ground? Um, is that something that your, that your feature yes. grants you? Okay. It does. Um, it is not. It is not. Okay. Did Claire share with us the information, what she found out from her divine sense, or? Well, that he's celestial. Right. Okay. But, um, what? I haven't gotten around to the ground. <laughs> what is he? Um, celestial. What does that mean? Angelic from the heavens. A being of immense power. Way better than you in terms of morality, but still can be a little crazy. Well, that could be applied to anyone, but... <laughs> so, okay. But he's crazy, right? I, I would assume that someone from the heavens would... Uh, would maintain their grip on reality. I don't think you should say that out loud. Well, I'm saying it quietly. Well, if say he's it, been here for all. long enough, we know how long people can get stuck in here. Maybe not in exact mm -hmm. years, but in general terms. So is his plan now to try to appease Strad? I think he... I think he's gone insane. It is I think a he being legitimately of thinks that Visalka will work. All right, so then the next question, are we actually going to get shovels and follow him? Well, yes. what happens if we I think don't? we need to follow him at the very least. Yeah. Make Do sure we even he... see any shovels? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Is, does he just shovels? say, are, are there shovels to you? <laughs> uh, make a perception check. <laughs> I mean, sort of a dining there hall serious, at moment. serious perception check? There was 15 on the shovels. <laughs> no shovels. You see spoons, but he's but no shovels. I mean, who would say that? <laughs> Grab some shovels. <laughs> In any case, I do believe we should follow him. The being truly has some kind of divine nature in such an unholy land. Surely he can only mean good. Oh, oh you haven't been here long enough to make that statement. I look to the zombie and other creatures that he's created. Wait, 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 wait. Does your divine sense sense undead? Yes. Is it sensing undead from it? From Vasilka? Yes. I I don't think so. DM, I think I wasn't getting anything from her. Was that correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's probably just like a golem. Ugh. All right. You then hear um, in your heads the abbot has left the abbey and you hear the voice inside your head. Each of you. Because what Otto has <laughs> grabbed you the correct instruments. Are you coming? very least we should make sure he doesn't do anything entirely yes. untoward let's go yeah let's head out let's go find Otto and the shovels sure my favorite band <laughs> <laughs> you exit the sort of dining area this what maybe perhaps used to be a chapel of the abbey here and Indeed, standing outside is Otto and Zikrek, who you met last time. They both, each of them has three shovels in their hand. And um, uh, Otto comes up and says, Now I'm in, I'm probably a lot, pro pro probably a lot better digger than all you, but, um, but, <laughs> but the abbot said <laughs> that I'd probably scare the people since it's daytime. I don't know why. I have always wanted to go down there during the day. I'm just... They surely think I'm very beautiful, right? <laughs> I'm just and he hands out the <laughs> shovels towards you. And you hear right. the abbot looks over his shoulder with grace and says, That's quite enough, Otto. 
Don't bother our friends anymore. Here, there are table scraps. Go feed your brothers and sisters. And they... <laughs> and they both hand you the shovels, go inside, and start gathering food together. How many of these creatures have we seen? Three. Are there only three? You see one chained to a pole outside here. And now that you're out, Elimus will point out there is one a um, almost uh, Smeagol-like uh, one that is peeking out from inside a well. Smeagol. Looking. <laughs> Anyone with passive perception, uh, 16 or higher actually, notices this. <laughs> Looking around. That's me. And you see one hand appears to be human, but one has enormous long green fingers with suction cups at the end, like a giant frog's leg. Um, it's just it's <laughs> um, I, I can't help but notice the interesting um, <clears throat> additions that some of these people have. Uh, is that something that is common around here? Was it a, a, a disease? Experimentation? Um, are you... He will continue walking out the front door. Will you walk and talk with him? Yeah, or yes. Go for okay. a walk and talk. He will look behind and say, Well, it is common with the Bellevues. They're all like this. They want to be this way. It makes them happy. The Bellevues, is that the family? Yes. You've met Otto Bellevue. You've met Siegfried Bellevue. And over there, in the well, is Mishka. And flapping against that pole is poor Marsena. She's not very well adjusted yet. And he smiles and continues. Um, well, here we go to go dig up a body. Speaking of which, um... I How do you know that resurrecting digging up and resurrecting the burgomaster's son is something that he's comfortable with? He stops and then turns around and says I would expect you of all people to know that when the divine wills something it must be done. The Morning Lord wishes this line restored. It is a noble line. It is his duty to continue it, as it is mine to see to its continuation. And he continues walking. Claire, if he truly holds the power of resurrection, it's not ours to question how or why. If he can really restore somebody, why should the method matter? Hello, Mrs. Moore. It's, it's just better that people stay dead. A little louder there. You're, you're quite quiet, just... Elena. Just sometimes it's better that people stay dead. Always, surely. If they died from no means of their own, no fault of their own, why is it ours not to give it their back? Why is it ours to take it away and not restore it? Why is it ours to break the law of nature? Everything dies. It stays dead. What is dead can give rise to new life. If that life is the same as the one that forfeit, then so be it. The thing that I'm worried about is... Is it really this morning lord that, that wants the body restored? I agree. Bringing someone back to life, the method is... May or may not be important, but the purpose is probably very important. I think you maybe you've been away from your people for, for far too long after flood because the elves revere life. 
and a priest, if they can bring an elf back when it's close, and if it's willing, then they will do so. And that's wrong. And I mean, what if he brings it back and it's a husk? It's true, we don't know what'll happen to the soul. Well, we do know what happens to the souls. No, in this specific case, whether it will come back with the body. Uh, yeah, excuse me, Abbot. How many people have you returned to life? Proper resurrection. Hmm. Not golems. Hmm. Perhaps a dozen in my time. Perhaps they, more. They all were grateful and went on to happy, productive, and holy lives, right? Not all. But can you blame a mother for giving birth to a murderer? Oh, I'm not going to touch that question. Hmm. He continues on. You guys are now winding your way on down, getting closer to the village itself. You can hear. Um, arising from the town a bit of commotion as it seems people are you can see figures pointing up looking in your direction your approach is being noticed uh. and should you continue the abbot will start down the streets, making his way to the main gate. You see some people hiding themselves in their houses, others just openly staring in the street as you pass. You make Excuse it all the way. Oh, go ahead. Does anyone seem happy to see the abbot at all? Or is it all just fear and suit like Make suspicion? an insight. Make an insight check. You sure. will remember that last time people hey, mentioned that he never comes down. So yeah, pretty think, much no one had seen no one has seen him before. Uh, Eleven. They're all ecstatic, <laughs> as far as I can see. This is jubilation. <laughs> yeah, not quite. They're um, yeah, they seem a little wary of you. They are scared. If they didn't trust you before, what you bring with you now certainly doesn't help that case. Great. They're really going to just let us dig up a body? I mean, where I come from, that's highly illegal. I should know. I did <laughs> want to speak to the Burgermaster. I think he should know first. Yeah. Is he visible? Is he amongst any of the people that are outside? Uh, as you approach, you will see that he and his wife will exit their house, standing in front. They are flanked by a guard on each side. He steps forward, holding a noble posture, standing straight and just waiting for what is to come. You can see there is fear in his eyes and confusion. So the abbot steps forward and his voice booms out. Dmitri Kreskov, the morning lord, wishes that your son should live that your noble lineage should continue. We are here to bring him forth from the earth and pluck his soul back from the dark waters where it slumbers. The Burgomaster, I, I don't, I don't undo. The Morning Lord wills it. Your son will draw breath again. He is buried behind the house, correct? And they just, their eyes look to you. 
A shrug. You shrug. Jubilation, Burgomaster. Life given again. So, so unfairly snatched away, restored by the abbot. With your blessing, for no one should dig up a body without on your soil without permission. He looks nervous and says, I will not deny the will of the morning, Lord. Do as you must. A wise it's choice. The freshest grave behind the house. Alimus just leans up against the house. Well, this is going to be fun. I, I, I'm compelled to ask one final question. It's been my experience that there is no such thing as magic free of consequence. What is the price for this miracle? Hmm. I only serve the morning lord. I do not barter. Okay. <laughs> and he walks and points towards what seems to be a fresh grave behind the Burgomaster's house, as if indicating you to dig. I will dig. <laughs> I will dig with my heart's content. I'm probably going to roll horribly on this, but I would be interested, and in, perhaps if someone else wants to help me on this, um, in rolling, I'm going to attempt a religion um, check to try to gather whether this interest in resurrection is aligns with what the morning lord is interested in um let's see if i'm if any anyone lucky. there that could help you with maris yeah uh yeah. 14. um well i'm sorry what was your what was the intent of the so because he keeps saying that this is the morning lord's will i'm kind of curious as to whether that jives with what i know about the morning lord does it is he the kind of deity to take that manner of direct action and this manner of doing so in the lives of people um, so you you by this point have picked up that the morning lord is sort of their understanding of the deity um, Lathander. Yeah. And you would know that the priests and priestesses of Lathander would be certainly people to resurrect the dead who had been wrongfully slain if need be. Um, clerics of light and life are very uh, often among their ranks. It's all sounding very legit to me. I, I think this is all going to go very well. <laughs> uh, um, just was the child walks over actually... to, to Harry. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, w was the son actually unfairly slain? No, uh, that was just what I would. That's just um, the way I okay. chose to say it. That, that okay. um, the clerics of of that particular of Lethander would be known to resurrect people. It's in okay. there. Yeah, it wouldn't be okay. unusual. Um. I suppose in that case, I will assist Harrison. Harry. Okay. Uh, yes, and uh, just Waldo says, uh, my lord, please, I will I will dig. It is more important for you to um, calm the people, I suppose. I'm gonna take the shovel from Harrison. I do not dig. Yeah, I'm uh, going to prop myself up against my shovel and not dig. Hmm. You see there's now a crowd gathered around just watching you intently. Legitimacy. Someone of noble blood that can, I don't know, do your thing. Just while it begins to dig. Okay. Dig as hard as I can. I will try and out dig the others to show my faith. <laughs> Fair enough. I want my <laughs> dirt pile to be at least twice as big as that. Athletics, athletics checks for those of you who are digging. 
Right. I'm not digging nearly that hard. <laughs> if, he, if, he just, if he starts to make a race out, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, just Waldo just has a little me. scoop. I got a um, 15. Oh. 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 Just Waldo is making, you guys make an impressive show of it. If digging a fresh grave can be called um, impressive. And at one point, you put your foot on the spade and stop yourself thinking I've got to get there's a route here to get through and you think oh as the tip of the shovel sits upon what looks to be a wrist bound in oh there's no coffin clothes it is just in the dirt if no one if you else need help with that route I can down. help you <laughs> so oh, as you pull that, up that's smart yeah this Take corpse the by accident and put it back. <laughs> you pull up a corpse fully wrapped in grave clothes. And you can hear the sound of sobbing behind you. Anna Kreskov um, uh, clinging tightly to the Burgomaster. As the abbot walks over, kneels down, and simply places a finger upon the forehead and then you see a <laughs> as the figure starts to break free and claw at the um, wrapping around his face and then <coughs> <coughs> spitting out dirt from his mouth and um, clearing his eyes you the um Mother breaks free then, runs past all of you, collapsing next to him, saying, Oh, Ilya! Ilya, says you! And you hear, Mother, Mother, where was I? What? And he, looking down to his, the hole next to him, becomes all too clear to him what has happened. The mother, so, and, uh, go ahead. So this is, Jezwaldo would have no way of knowing this, but from my own knowledge, um, he didn't, he didn't use a diamond, he didn't pray, he didn't do anything, he just touched the kid? That, I believe is correct. Mm -hmm. So he just brought him back to life, no spell. Oh. No, I would have been studying so that as well. That's legit. A legit celestial. Jeez. This is something out of Jared, the fairy tale. No we are all so lucky to have witnessed such a feat. You, so you do hear, you do hear him mumble when he touches the body, but there is no diamond that he uses or anything like that. Did I pick up what he mumbled? Um. Make an, uh, make an Arcana check. Ah, oh, 15. Um, no, it sounds maybe a prayer, but it, it's perhaps in the celestial language. You're not quite sure, but um, you know that, especially that spell, knowing that the child had been dead a week would, would be a powerful piece of magic. And um, you know that oftentimes these resurrection or spells require some very valuable components, but he did not use anything like that. What is that, a seventh level spell, resurrection? Three resurrection, ninth level. Well, it wasn't true resurrection, right? Because it was, unless it was a week, we had a body uh, and all. Right, but, okay, yeah, that's a good point. Right, that's enough meta, but that, <laughs> that gives us an idea of what kind of power we're dealing with, so yeah. tread lightly. <laughs> The abbot just steps back with a pleased expression on his face as the mother weeps over her child and then goes and throws herself at his feet, thanking him profusely. The burgomaster as well kneels before the abbot and um, offers his thanks for restoring his line. How's the kid doing? Is he weird? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at the kid. How old is he? After uh, yeah, he came out all lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> um, looks about early uh, er, twelve, thirteen, maybe. Um, a boy, not quite. Um, you know, 
not quite reached uh, manhood, probably was just a bit too weak to make it. How did uh, I say to, he died um, again? Survive his that sickness. That sickness of, a, it, yeah. of an illness. Yeah. Fever, I remember. Some... The same one I saw before, wasn't it? No, I think it wasn't. Was it not? Yeah. We had that discussion. Um, what do you say now, Claire? Did you see the results of such a miracle? Surely you can't deny that the abbots committed something here that's for the greater good. I ignore him and I ask the kid um, how he's <laughs> doing. You see the, um, the abbot turns to you, Harrison, and smiles before looking around at the people. He is just standing there, looking about. Um... Uh, who's uh, who's try is it? Are you just trying to get a sense of the if the kid's okay? Like insight. Yeah, it's like his mental state. Yeah. Right, go ahead, and make an insight, insight check. If I need to. Um, natural twenty. Nice. <laughs> there is something strange um, about it in his eye, just very slightly. Um, you're not quite sure what it is between fear looking at the earth from which he was just removed and the um, sort of disgust and confusion as he removes the linen wrappings that he was bound with. Um, you see almost a bit of humor or laughter flash across his eyes. And at one point he um, <laughs> he sneezes <laughs> and pulls a worm out from his nose and then pull, wipes a bit more grave dirt from his eye and says, <clears throat> there's a worm inside me. <laughs> That's forgivable. Ilya, you have been dead for so long. There is worms inside all corpses. DM is... um. Elena around? Irina? Irina. Yeah, I keep seeing <laughs> Elena's name typed. <laughs> Sorry. Change your name to Claire. Fine. Irina. Uh, you will see that Irina and uh, Victor, who you brought, both of them, are um, near the Burgomaster's hut. I know you mentioned um, that you brought him with to the Abbey, but for the, this purpose, he was stayed down at the Burgomaster's mansion with Irina. So she's not here. She's not here. Okay. Uh, they are in the doorway, sorry, of the Burgomaster's mansion where they had sort been of, just watching things. Sort of do one of Is these. It... Like, get back inside? Yes. <laughs> no. um, I just want to divine sense again. Okay. You sense a very powerful celestial being. You sense no undead, fey, or... Um, Fiend. Or fiend. Okay. Um, Ilya, you've probably had a really strange week, and we don't know what you've been through, but if you need anything, talk or otherwise about your experience or anything. There was a, a there was there was a, a child born, yeah. Yes. Here, yes. I saw it from <laughs> from down there. I was. Um, it felt like forever. I was, we were all bodies, shoulder to shoulder, water up to the tips of our noses. We could barely breathe. It was, and we would shift around for hours, and then it was cold and. I felt, I saw the light above, and, and we, I, I, I hadn't done it before, but they all started climbing, one on top of one another, feet to head, just climb, pile of humanity, and climbing towards the light and the heat, and I tried to go, but I wasn't fast enough, and one reached out and made his way through to the light again, and we all crumpled back down. The water came up again, and we just stood there in the darkness, 
shoulder to shoulder, bumping against each other, just trying to keep our <laughs> trying to keep our heads above. Souls of the dead. That's what it felt like, at least. But that one must have been the one that made it. <laughs> <clears throat> weird nervous laughter keeps coming. Um, the abbot says, the Kreskov line has been restored by the grace of the morning law. I, the humble servant, have accomplished this. And now the morning lord calls his servants to another task. servants as in well you have just... just called yourselves humble servants of the morning lord have you not he's looking down to the burgomaster and his wife who have been um thanking him profusely and um sort of expressing their subservience to the will of the morning lord he says i require Something that will help me free this land from the grips of the Dark One. A proper wedding dress. Oh, shh. <laughs> you, you will make this again, happen. Say that again, please. <laughs> A proper wedding, wedding dress. dress. Okay. You will do this. You will strive to do this. You must, lest you lose the favor of the Morning Lord and have his light taken back from you. And then he turns around and begins to walk back towards the Abbey. Hey guys. Yeah. You know the last time I saw a wedding dress? Was it the, before you came to Barovia? Balaki. In my dream. Valaki. You saw a wedding wed dress in Valaki. I saw in one in my dream. The Burgomaster's house. Oh, the there one was that was burned dress. and looted? Yeah. Hmm. So. So we have a, a dreamt of wedding dress in a burnt and looted ramshackle. No, there was like there was a real dress. Was it the same one that Elimus was? Mine was a dream of a wedding, a wedding cake. How do you remember that, Elena? Did you write that down? I, I did. Amazing. Rem I, I remembered it when he said it, but I then I double checked in my notes. Aren't Good you taking you. notes too? Uh, no, <laughs> Jesualdo is not the kind of person to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> He's much more, you know. Sure, there's a dress in Balaki. What? Um, what we just got here? Um, I'm okay with leaving. <laughs> Balaki's not exactly a place where we want to be, generally speaking. But there are two new faces here, so maybe we can send them in. <laughs> If it's um, isn't there something else that we are heaven. supposed to do here? Well, here was <sighs> bring Arena somewhere safe. And if the abbot thinks that he can appease Strahd by providing him the perfect bride, then what perfect bride than the one he actually wants? Once again, we're in a situation where I'm not comfortable leaving her with people who seem well, to no, not at all. screws loose. I mean, the first thing we should do right now is get her to color her hair. Is that a thing that can be done? Do we have Just find some ink. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Or just shave her. I look to the Burgomaster. Have you not got any wedding dresses here? Ooh. No, none, none well that are of this stature that he would like. We were a simpler town. 
who are married in finery, but not wedding dresses, not nothing nothing so fine as that. I assume since you tend not to go for such finery, you wouldn't know whom to ask for one, if you wanted one? Here, there's nothing. If we, like you said, if we were looking for something like this, we would go to Vivalaki. Oh, great. What did you do to bring this abbot down from the monastery? Um, that's a very good question. He seemed very keen on the Uh, on, restoring on your this. line. Yeah. Does your okay. family have any connections to the Abbey beyond just being the Burgomeisters? We've we've ruled this city for generations, but no. The Abbey so, has been abandoned for a long time. The city has a very impressive wall and it has a very old monastery. Is there anything else here? There's a healing pool to the north, but How far and an old shrine to the north to the morning lord. It's it's within. Um, you, you saw it when you were ascending the mountain. It's it's within the actual walls, just on the northern side of the city. Um, is I'll that show you guys the, the map is that by the gazebo again? It is. Yay. Gazebo. This dress is in Velaki, did you say? Yeah, it's a town about a day's travel east of here. You seem hesitant to return. Well, we have we had um, mixed dealings there. Define mixed. We deposed the ruling party and replaced it with one even worse. Great, thanks. Good job. No problem. <laughs> and this ruling party, I assume, is adverse to us strolling in and taking a simple wedding dress. Well, <sighs> not us. She doesn't... It's not Damn. that she dislikes us. She is clearly in se. league with Mr. It sounds like she dislikes you. Uh, well, we dislike her. <laughs> I couldn't care yeah, less what she thinks. We can always burn them to the ground as well. Yeah, and then you can get your book back, Joswalda. As long as we don't burn the wedding dress. Different sounds house. like the quickest way. Still, burn the whole place. Ugh. I agree with Joswalda. If it's that evil. We mustn't leave this town with Irena. If even the abbot catches a glance, he will recognize the similarity that he has. she has to Strahd's beloved. So we must find right a way. I find I need to write something. Is there anyone around here who has ink? <laughs> I looked at a burgomaster. Surely you could look after our friends here. For some... For... I've already looked after them for some time. You, how long do you intend for them to stay? As long as your we son wishes to stay the... alive, surely. Precisely. If you want us to go to Valaki to save your wrath of the morning, Lord, then surely you'd be happy to do so. Surely not, Burgermeister. I would not ask this of you. Uh, Anna has already said she would go to the city to get the dress. Does she know where to go? Oh. We will... I will send her with as many guards as I can spare to still man the wall. I am needed here, but she... She has offered to do it. You know what? It turns out I have ink. <laughs> Never mind. Well, um, good. <laughs> that saves us a trip. We would send this innocent woman into this foul place to retrieve a wedding dress. It's a city. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding the threat of this place. Is it? It's not some a threat to the. Or it's the. <sighs> The new head of Velaki is in league with Strahd. And she has imposed new new elements of law and order in the city. 
that seem perhaps even more oppressive than her predecessors. Law against a traveler coming to seek address? Uh, no. And it seems to me that if this is what the Morning Lord wants, which is what looks up at the monastery, that someone must go. It is not an... Is she, is she planning to go alone? No, she's going to take guards, in theory. I suppose she would be safe, then. Who is this that is going? His, His wife. wife. Burgermaster's wife. Mrs. Oh, no, we can't do Mrs. that. Mrs. Burgermeister. She volunteered. And she has just as much a want to get the wedding dress, just as strong of a motive as anyone else. You saw how happy she was. It's true. All right. You've convinced me. There are wolves me. in the forest. You've convinced me. That's fine. I am going to see about um, a certain redhead I know. Jeswaldo will go and try to convince Irena to dye her hair black. <laughs> Um, as we are kind of potentially dispersing here, I'd like to, um, take Harrison aside briefly. Okay. I'd appreciate it if you don't question my devotion to the divine. My issues with resurrection are between me and my deity. Not you. I apologize, Claire. I only... I'm very fascinated with the magic of resurrection, and I wanted to see it enacted. I've never seen someone return from the dead. Perhaps I was too forthright in hoping to see it happen. Magic itself isn't a problem. It's the reason that you do it, and whether... <laughs> Whether bringing them back has a cost, both literally or to your own emotional state. Sometimes it's better to just grieve and move on. I cannot move on. I cannot grieve if there is even the slimmest hope that I can have resurrection. Now, whether it be by divine being or by darkest devil, the method matters not to me, nor the cost whether it be another's life, my own, yours, anyone's, I will have resurrection before I submit myself to grievance. Careful there. Wouldn't go saying you would give anything, the lives of those you travel with, for whatever it is you want. Anything. Well, Athelflaed heard some of that, and now I'm going to go storming off, because that's unacceptable to me, and I'm going to smash my shoulder up against Harrison as I walk past him. <laughs> oh, Give God, him all the, all the shoulder <laughs> attitude. <laughs> I didn't, also, I'm a ranger, I, I have good hearing, <laughs> and I don't appreciate it. And I'm going to head towards the healing pools, because I'm very curious. I shan't talk to you any more of the Divine, Claire. I shan't doubt you. Do not doubt my sorrow, what I feel for what I've lost, even if it is the darkest of magics. Summoned from the very pits of hell itself, I shall see it happen. I shall see it happen with glee. You're not the only one who's lost, Amon, and I will walk away. <laughs> and another thing, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Irena, um, you want to dye my hair? Well, to be honest, I don't want to do it. Your hair is beautiful, but it is also very unusual. She kind of runs her fingers through it, pulls it over her shoulder. And it is only temporary, I think. I hope. 
Do you really think that this will fool him? <sighs> no. No, it will not fool him. And by him, I think I know who you mean. But it might fool the people who work for him. Or work with him. I see. What do you think of this place? Ah. Uh, the people are plain, but have you noticed how they work together? One chops wood, but doesn't receive coin for it. He's brought a bit of food from the hunters, and he brings wood around to the other homes. One makes butter, churns all day, and then brings it to his neighbors. They live, well, there's a type of cooperation here that is, well, it's nice. I haven't, there's not much greed. They may be timid and afraid, but there's something, if perhaps untrusting of outsiders, but it's this, there's something about this place that I'm drawn to. You say you're drawn to his place. Have you felt that way about any other places we've been? No, not remotely. But when I'm here, I, I feel like I can remember who I was just a bit. She's closer to the surface. This is... Uh... I'm so sorry. I, I should have paid closer attention, but the, the strange fellow with the weird accent back in the Valaki, he, he spoke of of a woman who may be an ancestor of yours, someone from Strahd's past that he sees in you now. You mean this Tatiana? Yes. Spaldo, I... I think that I am Tatiana. Well, we, we thought that could be a possibility, but... Uh, y yes, um... That would definitely explain a great many things. Um... Do, do you think if we dyed your hair, maybe changed your clothing, you could stay here and be safe for a while? There's a, there's a healing pool. That does sound nice. Well, why don't we see what we can do with your hair and then you can go and look at it in the pool. <laughs> Unless there's a mirror around here. I don't think so. Something I'm sure there is, not. but perhaps just perhaps seeing my reflection in there will be a bit healing and easier than a dusty mirror seeing myself changed, so. Oh, all right. Um, I've never actually done this before, but I've seen it done. So, um, right. Um, <laughs> how, how hard could it be, right? <laughs> Um, so, okay, you, let's see, we need to probably need a chair and a basin. Maybe we should do this at the pool. Um, we'll fine. need a lot of water. And they probably don't want us to do diabetes. That's probably not something people do at the healing pool, dying hair. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it a try. All right, here we go. What do you want to roll the <laughs> <laughs> D&D, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> just get a marker. Just draw you, on her. It's fine. Do you have any skills, proficiencies <laughs> with any kits, etc., that have, you feel could potentially be relevant? I have one bottle of black ink. One ounce. And I'm thinking that with sleight of hand, making, <laughs> being very careful to only get the ink on the hair that it will be enough to darken it 
for the intents of hiding the fact that she is a vibrant redhead in gotcha. a town of bleak grayness. <laughs> What other uh, what other implements are you using besides a what's a basin and a bottle? Uh, a brush, maybe. Okay, surely someone has to have a brush. Oh, Irina has a brush. She's will probably ruin it, but uh, <laughs> probably. Um, you can okay. go ahead and okay. use. And I your... have so and I have soap, and I okay. have oh I have uh, my my mustache grooming kit. Ah, oh, so I can use the mustache oh wax. I can use the mustache <laughs> wax to like put it on the. <laughs> The line of her hair to like make sure that that it doesn't dye her skin. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Um, I feel good about it. Uh, yep. Uh, we're doing this. Um, we have a Liz with us as well. Okay, she's just in time. Liz. <laughs> she's just in time. Oh my god. Liz. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> oh, yep. she left. Uh, no. oh, she I removed her. Uh, <laughs> She's, the only, one, she's the only one who could have stopped me. Oh, I also have perfume. Oh, so she um, can smell nice when you ruin her hair. She can smell nice, right? <laughs> um, I have a little bag of sand. <laughs> I have a gro- I have a grooming kit. That's got to be good for something. So, what do you say? I'm not there. I can't say anything. Uh, <laughs> Sleight of hand like, is I'm great. Yeah, Sleight of hand it is. Right. Do we need to do? Um, do we need to redo cameras? Nope. Okay, we're good. I, okay, so. Um, Liz, so since you're just joining us, um, Jeswaldo is attempting to dye Irina's hair. Oh, you guys no. also, you did. <laughs> you Thank did you for your vote of confidence. You did indeed take shovels and go and dig up the Burgomaster's son from his fresh grave, and the abbot placed his hand upon the young boy's forehead and resurrected him. So, so I'm getting ready to do this, and the last thing I says, or. We could give you a haircut that you could wear a hat. Fancy hat. Um, Go with the hat. Go with the hat. I mean, I'm all set to do it. Don't (laughs) let him touch your hair. (laughs) Whatever you think is best, Jesswald. We're going with the dye. Here we go. No! (laughs) Make a sleight of hand check. I have only 14. Oh, Oh, no. no. Oh, no. It's not bad. How hard can it be? Oh my god. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Her hair's gonna I just hard. had it done. <laughs> it's not that hard, but yet the result isn't that good. Oh well, no. The good news is it could have gone much worse. Oh god. The bad news is you might want to have a haircut. At a glance. She is not the stunning redhead that she typically is. Perfect. However, Mission accomplished. You see some areas as she kind of um, moves her hair again and then comes away with ink on her fingers. Ah, they're like, oh, I missed some roots in there. Yes. Some... All right. Um, oh. it why, will did not... walk... why did we walk to the pool? She's catchy. Um, DM, um, <laughs> I, after I angrily stopped away from Harrison, I wanted to grab a limus, actually. Um, speaking of the pool, um and say um i healing pool magic yes no thoughts want to go check it out yeah let's have a look yeah i'll go with okay. yay healing pool party <laughs> i i'm glad you like it here it does seem nice in a boring kind of way I, I think so too. I, this, as I said, there's just something. Uh, there's something right about this place. I think there's something familiar. Right. <laughs> of course, I am used to a much bigger city, but it's, I think far away. So, everyone, I think, heads towards the healing pool. Yes, as it was described. You can see it on your map of the town up in the north there. So, even under the gray skies here, this pool at the north end of the village shimmers and sparkles. Near its shore sits an old gazebo on the verge of collapse. 
a wooden statue of a mournful, bare-chested man. Its paint, chipped and faded, stands in the gazebo with arms outstretched, as though waiting to be embraced. I know what uh, figure that is, by any chance. Uh, you can go ahead and make a religion check. The morning lord, by any chance. Uh, ten. Not great. Uh, Try ten. It. it resembles other statues of the morning lord that you've seen. That's okay. not a hard connection to make. Now, you all find sort of a comfort around these waters. And then you see just Waldo and Irina approaching after there a uh, little bit. Does anyone do anything there before yeah, just Waldo I and Irina come? Yeah, I magic. Okay. And I'll divine sense. Okay. Your divine sense does not pick up any type of hallowed ground. Elimus, you do not... You detect... You, you do detect... A faint hint of, well, necromancy coming from the pool. I look for exactly where it is. Is it the waters or is it something inside it? It's the water itself. Though you as a mage would know that necromantic magic is not inherently evil. I know that, yeah. Um, yeah, the forces of life and such. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I um, want to investigate where it's coming from? Is yeah, it coming as you... from the stream? Is it coming from... Sure, go ahead and make an investigation check. Oh, 14. Passive 14, of 23, it's... though, if I can spend time doing it. Well, you won't have quite that much time. Uh, it is, as you... Though it's pretty obvious to you, this the entirety of the water is has a, a, some latent magic in it I scoop up a vial of it and then cast identify on it okay uh, it'll probably just Waldo will probably be a returning mid spell <laughs> yeah. as this happens I don't sure he has like every time he's wiped his face he got black yeah, on his face. <laughs> Irina too is Irina is looking too like on her hands. Oh, sh and trying not to get it on uh, her own clothing. Like, and you guys see, gosh. um, a uh, you gathered around the pool. See, uh, it's like teenagers got into the uh, hair dye. And hey, before you say anything, it seemed like a good idea. Oh, I agree. The idea was a good one. You're still um, beautiful, Irina. Thank you. Oh. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fine, you too. <laughs> if they even um, attempt to go close to the pool to wash it out using the mortar, I stop my chanting and just go, uh, uh, and then carry on chanting. Fine. Do you have something that you can do? Talking to me. Who are you asking? The, yes. Yeah. Al Al Alimus is, is chanting right now. He's oh, okay. in the middle of ca ritually casting a spell. But it only does that if you go to wash the dye out with the pool. I'll go and look at the pool, I suppose, just to see how yeah. bad it is. Um, I'm sure Maris can help make it a little better. <laughs> sure, Irina's... someone. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Irina seems a bit lost in thought. Um, and anyone who looks back at her will see. It's almost like just Waldo's die job is getting worse. And that's not the, fair. <laughs> the roots of red hair begin to sort of grow as if the dye itself is just running off of her hair. Okay. And she yes. looks, gazes sort of absently towards the pool. You think you're, you think she's looking at you for a second, then you realize it's not. And she, her stance changes. She stands up a bit more straight and the wind, there's no wind actually, but her hair sort of billows out behind her, redder than ever. 
That's just completely <laughs> the... What like, the hell? It's not fair at all. Chiswaldo summoned the Dark Phoenix. That's and it. She, um, she starts walking towards the water. Irena, can you hear me? She doesn't respond. And she reaches, she gets closest, she gets close to the edge. Hold up I'm, a hand to stop anybody yeah. from stopping her. No. <laughs> Ignoring Jezwaldo, I'm gonna grab her wrist. No, 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 you don't understand. She said she felt a connection here, that she felt something important about this place. I don't care, Alimus hasn't finished his spell. We're not letting anyone touch this water. <laughs> so I'm gonna reach out and try to stop her. She will look at you almost as if she doesn't recognize you and say, Let's go off me and shake her hand away. Uh, and she looks, I told you. do you let her go or do you? Uh, I'm going to grab with both hands this time and both hands. Stand back. I don't know who you are. Get away from me. Um, she's, her she's, she's, going, she's, face, going, she's going to cause a scene. <laughs> Just Tatiana, let please. please. Question mark. Doesn't she sound different? She, she looks. <laughs> she looks towards you as you speak the name Tatiana. It's okay. It's okay. All right. And you hear the a voice say, "Tatiana." Shit. Shh. Tatiana. Coming from the pool. No! 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 Uh, I want to go look in the pool. You see your reflection for a moment, and then near it, coming from nobody is, uh, or nobody around you is a different reflection too. A very handsome, youthful man with a kind, noble face, dark features, long, dark hair, similar eyes, to Strahd himself, though kinder. Striking features, but just a bit rounder, less severe. He is wearing fine armor. And you see a smile spread across her face as this reflection seems to reach out. It has been so long, my love. Let us be together at last. And she say, you hear Irina gasp, <gasps> My beloved Sergei, in life you were a prince and man of faith. We were to be married long ago. Has this blessed pool called your spirit to me? And she reaches out, goes down to a knee, and slowly, slowly her hand reaches towards the water. And you see out from the water that the man reaches out. His form now breaking the surface. And you see her whoosh, pulled in. Shit. The when water ripples for a bit. <laughs> exactly. Are we just letting this happen? Right. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm going to grab her feet. I, yeah, I, I, grab, I grab her feet quickly. <laughs> I was like, Can I you try. Like, try to grab for her before she's pulled in totally? Um, if you would like to, you can try. What What would try. you ask uh, for a roll there? Let's see. Um, <laughs> make... Oh, that would be interesting. Make an athletics check. I'm gonna try to. Before this roll is done, Jeswaldo would Jesus. like to draw his sword and say, four. stop. Do not touch her. Back away. This woman who we know as Irena is cursed. She's been pursued by this horrible creature. And everywhere we take her, I cannot help but he feel that he is watching. We're looking for a way for her to be safe. She's in the water, right? At this point, um, this she's is about, she has disappeared if you don't 
try to jump in to grab her. It I'm... was like a whoosh, and then okay. ripples. Well, I rolled a four on my attempt to grab her, so I definitely fucked that up. Yeah. And I got a 13, so I probably grabbed all of air. Indeed, both of you did, and you just see ripples now. You don't see any figures. You don't see her beneath the water either. Giswaldo, it doesn't matter if she feels at home here or not, if she's dead. That is her safety. The pool. And if you've ever loved anyone, you would know that's true. You can go fuck yourself. And I'm <laughs> gonna go get her. As you, as you go to the edge of the water, you don't see any people under there. Her body is gone. It is clear crystal pool. Can I see if I like look into the water? What do I yeah, see? You see two reflections. Look. Not bodies inside, but you see the reflection of a handsome young man joined at hands with a beautiful woman striking red hair as if on their wedding day, having just exchanged vows, standing hand in hand. The water ripples again, and the reflection is gone. If I break the water, do I see anything? Like, if I, like, stick my head in to look underneath? Yeah. Uh, you're about... Uh, yeah, you do so. There's, there's nothing there. It's not an illusion. You do feel, though, as you... Um, uh, get near the water and you make contact with it and a restorative energy washes over you. I don't believe since you've had a long rest, I don't believe you have anything that it would actually cure, but you feel that this has. I would get my divine water senses has back. Cure it. No, 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 it's not a long oh, rest. Okay. Oh, just, okay. Because you've had a long rest, <laughs> right. you don't gain any sort of benefit from this, but gotcha. you feel <laughs> that there is a restorative property to this water. Did you see that? And as soon as you get Two out... Souls. Two souls reunited. Now he cannot touch her. Just while though your words are interrupted by a blast uh -oh. of thunder. And it shakes the entire land, almost like an earthquake, and dark clouds begin swirling overhead. Then a deep, dark voice beyond the mountains cries out, She is mine! And... <laughs> A bolt of lightning strikes the water. I need everyone Shit. to make a dexterity saving throw. Aha. A natural 20. Ooh, is that your second tonight? Yep. Got a 15. 13. Ooh, 22. <laughs> Very nice. 18. Anyone? Um, actually, just, um, anyone below 17 is knocked prone. Claire, as you are making contact with the water as the lightning strikes, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Fourteen. You take 44 points of lightning damage. Oof. The gazebo next to you is leveled, as is the statue. And dark clouds continue to crackle overhead. Hmm. So she's safe, and now you fucked everyone else. Good job. Harrison's gonna grab his ears and pull himself <laughs> to his feet, I guess. Everyone... What's the mission? What have we been doing? What have we been tracing around this land for? Do you remember what we told her brother? I do. She is not the only reason that we are staying here and fighting and standing up for people and doing our fucking best. Yes, I am still up. Um, <laughs> at 22 hit <laughs> points. Um, <laughs> Did the rest of us take damage? Uh, actually, I mean... Interestingly enough, as you are touching 
and um, manipulating the water as I'm well. Not, I've got well. a, a vial of water. I am yeah, identified. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Uh, I believe Claire was the only one touching the water. So, so nobody else took damage since we Correct. made a saving throw. Cool. You you were knocked prone. But whole area is sort of leveled though, right? Uh, the the houses aren't, but this you. Um, is there anything left of the pool? Yeah, the water is okay. there, but the sparkle seems to have lessened somewhat. And ref reflections once the water sort of levels? They're completely gone. Only Perfect. your normal reflections. Don't you Zebo's see? destroyed as well. Claire, this, all of this, this entire land, it is a strad. He looks down on everything we do. How else do you explain that he just saw that? I don't see why that matters. No, it doesn't matter. The people here are trapped. And the only way to break out is to destroy Strad. And, and we've made that significantly diff more difficult for ourselves by royally I disagree. pissing him off. I disagree. Can I no, go over because to Hazel and see if she's okay before we get into a massive argument? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> struck by fucking lightning. <laughs> so... Don't come near me. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. No worries. <laughs> no problem. Big disagreements. <laughs> Is the pool still magical? That's still going, by the way. No. You feel that the restorative properties have been destroyed. Right, what did you want to do? Did you want to offer her to Strad so that he would let us go? No! Of course not! You want Strad to be happy and content? Feeling strong and powerful? Or do you want Absolutely him Absolutely not! Do you want him raging? Do you want him beside himself? I mistakes. don't think that when you're trying to hunt a creature, you rile it up into a fury before you go meet it. Depends on the creature. No, it doesn't. How many times have you hunted a monster? Enough. And but I know how angry they get. It's done now. She's gone. And safe. And happy. And you don't know that. We don't we don't know if she's safe. We can't see her. I didn't make any promise to her brother. My whole thing was to keep her safe, and now she's disappeared into a pool and So where's the body then? Where is the corpse? That's my question. Where is she now? We don't know that she's safe. We have no proof whether she's safe or in danger. We can't do anything at this point. I think she's safe. I think well, she spoke to me before we came here, saying that she felt content here and felt safer, felt that this person, Tatiana, was closer to the surface. Tatiana isn't Arena. I don't think they're not the true. same person. They are, they are, they are, and they're not. Okay? Same I understand spirit, what you're battle. saying. Same spirit, different battle. The version of Tatiana that was Irena should not have had to find happiness in the way that Tatiana did or wanted to. She was her own person with her own feelings and her own desires, and I don't think it's fair of you to assume that this is her happiness. No. But you're right, it's done, and we can't fucking do anything about it, so great. She's gone, and we can't ask her, and we have no way of knowing. I think it was a good thing. Okay. At this point, I'm just gonna turn my back on Jeswaldo, cause you know, arguing's not getting us anywhere at this point. Elimus, did you get anything from the water before all of this happened? Do I finish my spell and is my vial still magical, which wasn't touched? <clears throat> you finish the spell and yes, the v Let's see. You detected that essentially your identify revealed that this once um, 
someone if someone were to drink from this um they would basically gain the benefit of the lesser restoration spell and I've, uh, is that still restored in this potion that i've got which wasn't touched um, by the lightning it is yes do I think that returning this may help return the pool back to odd how it was? Hmm. Make, Make a religion it. check. God, I ask for some help then. Sure. You're giving me advantage, yeah? Yeah, go for it. 18. Um. <coughs> you... think that this you, you sense that this magic had faded oh, that the the restorative properties of this pool used to be even greater um it was already fading hmm. and this dumping it back you have the last remnants of something right now um it would not regrow by adding it back so, no you don't think that this would restore the pool i got any idea how to no if it's magic of the pool, perhaps the abbot may know more about what's happened to Arena and this Sergei. At least the pool was destroyed by Strad. I think the only way to restore it would be to defeat him. So until then, Arena is gone. Hmm. Who knows? He might even get angry this. that we lost Arena, since she would have been a step better than the Silka. I'm worried my Strad sister will take the brunt of this. Own. Why would Straw desert, destroy his own desire? People do all sorts of things when they're angry. So he either has her, is, she is mine, as he yelled, or he has lost her. And I think if he's lost her, it's a good thing. And I don't think there's any other way to see it. That's kind of condemned my sister to death, though. I'm sorry about that. I like your sister, Elimus. All right. What's the next step, everyone? <laughs> Good question. Before we even go and attempt to visit him, we need to get that sword. Yeah. We need to go to the Amber Temple. And we probably Are we going make to get sure a dress? Yeah, we should probably make sure that they actually have a suitable dress so the abbot doesn't also flip a fuck on them. Would would the abbot be able to bring Irina back? I don't, we don't know the nature of his magic. Um, I think that if he found out that Strahd's <clears throat> love was lost into the pool he would not be happy i mean could we just say that it was our friend someone we were trying to I help i think that that's a box we should not touch unless absolutely necessary well both the wedding dress and the amper temple are back in the same direction we can accompany the burgomaster's wife to the locky see if we can help her find the dress send her back with it and then grab Casimir and head our way up to the Amber Temple to get a sword. Agreed. As as a note for the party, I do believe you were given a hint about something else being here. Oh boy. That's the uh, the ally, right? Uh, is it Otto? No, <laughs> it's um <laughs> Nice try. Um, oh, <laughs> no, yeah, it's the the uh, what's it face? Um, yeah, she's at Saint Markovia. She's she's at, up there. We didn't see her. There was a door that we didn't go behind, that had. <laughs> 
<clears throat> noise is like teeming with pe people, but you guys didn't perceive people. I think we perceived like undead. We saw two there, females. And there are two wings to the abbey separated by a courtyard. You only went in one half of it. Yeah. yeah. And then there was Batgirl and Smeagol in the middle. Mm hmm. Smeagol. Claire, you are yeah. quite wounded. Better days. Wait, there are people here who could do something about that. One of them being yourself. I'll, um. I'm probably still smoking a little bit. <laughs> um. <laughs> Stand still for a second. <laughs> it's yeah. fine. She's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just um, tap myself uh, for 30. Um, yeah, we should probably check out the Abbey again before we head out, see if we can find um, Victavia's student. One leg, I think, or a fake leg? Something you've said about that? Uh, yes. I see All right. It. Well, then, DM, I think we're going to take a detour back up to the Abbey. Good. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> just while we'll stick or stay behind for just a moment. Okay. How do I add a potion of restoration? Lesser restoration. I don't know if it's a potion, but just um, administering that or someone drinking that will um, gain the benefits of such. So. Same so potion, then. Yeah. I don't really know how you do that. <sighs> no, I don't know how you do it. I'll, just, I'll put a, a custom one in. But just while we look into the water and say... Uh, I don't think the others saw it, but for just a moment, I thought I saw true joy. And uh, that's something I haven't felt in quite some time or seen. And if it was a lie or an illusion, I would choose to believe it. And if you somehow are someplace where you can see my mariposa, then please tell her hello for me. And then he will turn around and head with the rest of the party. And he will look in the air and he says, and if you are watching, I hope you realize that it was me that convinced her to go. It was the hair dye. <laughs> you... As you are walking away, you feel the faintest bit of a cool wind brush past and kind of run through your hair a bit. Gives you a bit of a chill, but comforting, like a cool pillow. And then the clouds above rumbles. Yes. But you are angry. So you guys return to the abbey, you are let through by Otto and Siegfried, who seem to trust you, at least Otto does, doesn't outwardly mistrust you. Um, you can all see this little map here, kind of gives you an idea of where you were, yes? Does that make sense? The There's this middle yep. courtyard here, yeah. and two wings to the abbey. This area is where you last saw Vasilka, and the abbot at the table. As you are approaching this main gate, though, um, uh, what are passive perceptions again? I have them written down. Very low. 17. Yeah, mine's horrid. 18? Uh, wow, 16. What? I, I can read. <laughs> 16. 17. 17 still. 14. Hmm, okay. Uh, Elimus, you notice up in the corner, in the gardens here, there is there are two scarecrows, and you notice them at the the first time, and having you know had your encounter with scarecrows before, 
Um, you do a double take and you swear one of them shifts as you're looking in its direction and then is still. Athelflaed, you would notice this as well. I look at it and wink. Again, you see it. A bit of a shuddering movement. I guess I'll stop and... Well, I won't stop, but I'll look around to see if anyone else <laughs> notices. And We've seen them before. Should I be concerned? Seen yes. what? No, the scarecrows. No. Ah, the so first you take a bit of their chest and you throw it over there, and then you take a bit of their legs and you throw it over there. That's how you deal with scarecrows. Delightful. Okay, great. They're not going to come towards us. They're going to stay over there, right? No yeah. idea. We'll Depends find out. If we're hostile or not. Okay. Weird that they would be on the abbot's ground. Perhaps. Again, one sort of moves back and forth. So that's that's over there. Mm-hmm. Hey guys. Wanna go check it out? Um well. <laughs> Do we Not want to really? antagonize anything? Should don't we have higher priorities right now? Are there actual crops over there? Um, Is there wine? Make a perception check. So good at these. Twelve. I got twenty-four. Just while though, there are plants certainly. Um, Athelflaed, um, cabbages. Leafy greens, some other root vegetables. The cabbages. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, if there's something that could be an, a threat to us, I'm inclined to stamp it out before it becomes a greater one. These are the abbot's grounds. Well, I mean, if he was going to attack, he would have attacked already, surely. Also. If we do anything to make him upset, won't he just squash us because he is a celestial? Celestials aren't, as sort of a blanket statement, all powerful. But certainly more powerful than us. Oh, probably. This one. Yeah. I wasn't planning on smacking it. I just wanted to take a look. Harrison's thoroughly confused and he'll say, um... You all realize they're not real people. They put them there to scare birds away. <laughs> yes, very I well said. That's movie. a good point. How silly of us. We... <laughs> I've not seen so the strange. movie strange. <laughs> Sorry. They were just really good scarecrows. I mean... Mm. And at this point, anyone who has been pointed out to, you can see them kind of shifting back and forth. Ah. Those are clearly the kind of scarecrows that jump off and attack you on the road. Whether or not they are meant to be here, that is the question. Right. Well, we can ask the abbot then. I That's think we should. Question. Are so keen on his permission for things. Or we could just ask Otto. <gasps> we could. <laughs> By all means. Where is Otto? I don't see him. Do I? So, so you guys gate. came through this main <laughs> gate on the left side of your screen here. And Otto and uh, Seekrek were standing very good guard here. Here. So. Hey, DM. Yeah. Um, are these graves? Yes, there's a graveyard. That's not too far. I just want to take a quick peek at it. <laughs> Anything okay. written on the headstones? Uh, yes. There is. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, there are just sort of normal human names for the most part. Do you go, how far do you go in? How many do you look at? Um, I'll kind of go down this um, 
like basically the first three squares down and then come back up the other row, taking a peek at all of them. So basically like the first 15 foot square, or I don't know if we're in, in five feet. You're a 10 foot square. Ten foot. But, um... So um, three by three squares on the map. Okay. You notice as you are looking that this one Looks a little different. There's an X. Uh, it's marked. Oh, it's marked X haha, on the map. It has a um, three-inch diameter sun-shaped indentation on its side. Engraved beneath the indentation is the name Petrovna. Have we heard that number or uh, name or read that name? That sounds vaguely familiar. I can't remember from what the... Um, sun shaped indentation, mm -hmm. you said? Like for a large symbol, yeah. Like large a sun shaped symbol. Symbol of raven kind? Larger. Larger? Okay. Uh, Shrovna does sound really familiar, but I can't remember from what. I guess um, three inch, so not, not quite that big. But. But that is what is there. Okay. I will ponder that and return to my compatriots. Um, into the abbey, since we're so unkeen on looking at uh, scarecrows. Tell me. Which may or may not be moving. Claire, do you know much about celestials then? Some. <clears throat> Anything in particular you're interested in? Can I see invisibility? Depends on how powerful they are, probably. Um, I would a not a arcana or a religion check be appropriate yeah. here, DM, for a more specific know, answer. Yeah. Religion, certainly. Religion, okay. Mm -hmm. We'll do a religion check as well. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay. Um, Elimus, you would know that mm, probably powerful celestial beings probably have. Uh, features similar to true sight but um he is not any particular kind that you recognize so it's hard to say yeah. without knowing more about him or his order of celestial obviously we're here to find this woman girl whoever okay. how do we approach this it has to be careful but do we do we think she is a prisoner? Couldn't we just say that we have a message to her from her old tutor? Yeah, that's... Well, she wasn't in that first room that we saw. We could just walk over to the other side. There's or a you want to go ask. The winged creature. Could it be her? The... Do we think? If she's relatively new. Well, no, he said that she was one of these Bellevue people. Hmm. What was the name that he gave for the... Was it Mishka, or is that the golem? The, the golem one? Mishka, Mishka the was, golem. This, was this yeah. Smeagol. Um, what was the name that he gave for the other one? Masanya. Okay. Hmm. I hope not. Why don't we go and ask? I mean, that would tell, that would tell us a lot. If he says that no, she is not here, then we can suspect that he might not be telling the truth. Hey, lead on. Okay. Giswaldo goes to wherever there is a knocker. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. You will hear in your. You can place your tokens on this. Oh, you're you're out here by the time. And uh, you will hear in your head the voice. You may enter. Ah, he says we may enter. Do we all hear that or just him? Just as well do. Okay. And indeed, the door will be unlocked. You will see the fake guards 
manning the parapets. And <clears throat> again, the sort of cacophony of sounds beyond in the sort of dormitory area here. Voices, madness. Um, I really don't like this place. <laughs> Have you liked any place we've been? Think of it on a scale, Joswaldo. Of okay. sort of mild dislike to detestation. And I've sort of been sitting in the, you know, upper half of that to middle of that for most of our trip here. I'm way <laughs> down at the bottom now. I can't say I disagree. Uh, if you would like to search perhaps the northern wing. Well, let's, why did we go in where we saw the abbot? I mean, I, if this is to be battled, then so be it. But I would hate for it to be due to a misunderstanding. Hmm. Hey, let's go ask Or him. we just go. I would say no, that's... no, I'm convinced, Jezwaldo. You have wonderful ideas. And I'll walk oh, over thank to you. You the door and go. Hey, uh, Knock. Mm -hmm. Where's my spell templates? <laughs> <laughs> you should have access to them. Two of them. Uh, what other ones do you need? Uh, we'll get there. But uh, I'm going to... The... Boom! Cast Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> we all die. Oh, very good. I'm not in that spell radius. One job. Uh, the DM had one job. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so you're walking uh, towards the uh, main area where the abbot was before? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then everything blows up and everyone dies. <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> I want that would be a pay. totally satisfying ending to this campaign. <clears throat> I'm so large compared to... No, everyone. no, 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 no. Not nearly as satisfying as it could be. <laughs> as um, you approach, you will see... The figure of Vasilka looks like yeah. this. opening the door for you and then stepping back aside and awkwardly extending a hand as if to enter. All right. Well, I'll head on in. Don't like that at all. On a scale of one to ten, how much does Vasilka look like Irena? Like, not at all? As the abbot Should... fucked this up, but... They found some red hair. Oh, but... <laughs> well, and I assume that... a scalp attached to it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but not That's... that much beyond that. It's, uh... right. Is Probably that Irish that. setter? <laughs> Get some glue, it's fine. And his plan is to use that as the substitute, right? That's as far as I understand. So. Apparently. But I'm not sure that'll work anymore since he seems very aware of the fact that we've lost his love. I'm told by the end of the week, Vasilka will have a beautiful new dress. The Dark Master shall have his bride. Yes. Well, shall. yes, good luck with that. Um, we were wondering if you knew um, of a certain girl who woman. might have passed this way. A, a woman. A woman who passed this way. Her name is Esmeralda. And I think she has one leg. Hmm. I think she might be here. Oh, wonderful. I've heard someone walking around before. May we see her? Of course. You're my guest. Just do not go in the lower level. Down here? The Mongo folk are so easily frightened. The lower level of the, build, the part that we're in or the other building? Indeed. The lower level of the other building. You say okay. Mongo folk? There. Yes. And she is with the mongrel folk? She is not. Ah, well then where is she? She's been lurking around upstairs somewhere for some time. And oh. you're okay with that? She doesn't bother them. 
right. Well, let's go find her. All right. <laughs> Good to see you again. <laughs> Bow and say farewell, Basilka. Oh, she so bows, pretty. but does not speak. Oh. Just curious, what is your plan <clears throat> if uh, the Dark Lord is displeased by your efforts? Oh, he won't be. Why don't you just destroy the Dark Lord yourself? You seem quite powerful. Oh. It's not so simple as that, destroying him. This land is tied to him and he to it. It would be fruitless to. I must end the curse. Hence, the lovely bride. Thank you. Um, if we are attacked, are we okay to defend ourselves? Attacked by what? Oh, I don't know. I mean, scarecrows, anything, you know, that could be lurking in the dark or in The fields. living things here are in my care. I would ask you not to harm them. Oh, we wouldn't dream of scarecrows. It. I built those. Why? How would they attack you? Oh, we've seen some before in the past. They're moving. Impossible. Oh, they're definitely moving. Go and take a look for yourself. He simply shrugs and sits down at the table. Okay. We head out then. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Great. Well, so, uh, to get, you are able to get onto the upper levels. He will point to you. There's an upstairs area that you can uh, go to in order to get to the battlements and go to the upper floor. This way you can get into the top without, um, really entering the bottom dormitory levels. Yeah. And we'll take a break here and soon, but we'll get over here first. So you can kind of see this upper level here. You enter up the stairs. Nope. Here, you can't see anything? Nope. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. How's that? Oh. And now we can ah. see Hi, better, yeah. better. over here. Over here, you is where you come up the stairs from the area. Um, basically, the stairs next to in the same room where you were meeting with the abbot just now. Um, there's still ten foot, or it's uh, nope. You guys are now regular size. Um, there are unlit lanterns hanging from the rafters here, and a rope dangles from, or and from a rope dangles a bronze bell in a belfry thirty feet overhead. Why am I so tiny? Oh, so tiny! <laughs> the room is filled with the sound of beautiful music. Um, where did this go? Aha. A melody so enchanting that it adds a bit of much needed warmth to this otherwise freezing room. A black shroud covers a humanoid shape lying on a wooden table. The music does nothing to stir it. A, co a cot heaped with furs rests in the northeast corner, surrounded by empty wine bottles. An oil lamp burns atop a table nearby, silhouetting a squat creature that has two heads. It, might take an it sits, <laughs> it sits <laughs> on the edge of the cot with a viol between its legs. Uh -huh. With a crustacean claw-like appendage, it grasps the neck of the instrument while a bow gently, or while running a bow gently across the strings with a human hand. And you see this creature, ah. a one goat-like head <laughs> and so one disturbing. looking almost like an infant that sleeps 
next to him. What? Well, um, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Clove in Bellevue. Sorry. Uh, and we'll take a break. How do you miss, spell that? I miss Clove already. Cloven. Cloven? Yeah. Oh, I right like there. these things. Lots Cloven? of strange like things going on here, but you guys are being so good. That yeah, indeed. How oh, are we I. being good? <laughs> Heaven. Yeah, I mean, we haven't murdered our hope. You haven't murder murdered hope anything. Uh, yeah. Yes. Not... Uh, All we need to do is find yeah. a mirror. I know. Like, I have one. Don't wake up the baby, <laughs> Jesus. Well, we'll see what happens. I know this was like somebody play some music. I forgot that we didn't have a in break. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take one right now. Right, guys. We'll be back in ten minutes. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for sticking with us. Um, earlier in the session, the party escorted Irina Kolyana to a sacred pool and a vision of Sergei, the brother of Strahd, appeared, pulled her into the pool, and they both vanished from sight. After that, the party uh, went up to the abbey, looking for the ally which had been foretold would be waiting for them here. But before meeting that person, they came upstairs and met a creature with a goat-like head and another head, cherub-like, small, hanging off of his shoulder. He is surrounded by empty wine bottles, sitting on a bed and playing a viol. Beautiful music, um, sort of softly playing through this hall. Uh, oh, uh, 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 hello. Uh, hello, uh, Cloven, was it? Cloven, Bellevue. Mm -hmm. I am Jesualdo Tacarambola Tomba del Fuego Santa Beliba Zacateca de Hotel de Santa Cruz de la Rosa, and I am happy to make your acquaintance. And yeah, my name's Harry. <laughs> ah, Harry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he just keeps playing his viol. Um, Loven, your your playing is quite beautiful. Thank you. I have to keep the little one asleep. I see. Oh, okay. Wow. Does does the little one have a, a separate name from yours? No. Oh, okay. I just I just thought I'd check in. It's a a beautiful baby. Congratulations. Mm. <laughs> Hey, uh, DM. You. And he what's stops playing for a bit as you're talking. Anyway, go ahead. What, what's underneath the uh, the fabric that's on the table next to me? I know you said there was sort of a body figure. I would like to take a peek. Um, he will, uh, as you lift it, you see um, uh, a corpse of a woman. It appears to be and it seems that much of her right arm has been, well, harvested. And you see Colvin, wait, wait, turn, be begin at those things. And as he kind of stirs and jerks to point and say to stop, you see that this movement jostles awake the little cherub head, which... <laughs> looks and then you see a forked snake tongue go out the front of it and then it goes <laughs> now and he goes no 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 and begins playing the viola <laughs> oh i'm so disturbed <laughs> that's right uh we will and leave it goes you. back to sleep we will leave you to your lullaby um, have you seen a woman with one leg <laughs> not not one not one arm one leg. All the ones we harvested the legs from are long buried. It does this body have two legs as a normal person would? Yes. Okay, great. Um, well, um, nice to meet you, Cloven. Yeah. Uh, 
Who is the eldest <laughs> Bellevue, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Hmm. The M. <laughs> hmm. That would be me. Good answer. The rest so don't like me, though. Say yeah. I hog all the food. Well, you're eating for two. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. A proud am... papa. <laughs> he just kind of shakes his head and keeps playing his music. I have a question. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> You sensed that about me, right? The inquisitive mind. <laughs> uh, so I'm very interested in uh, your 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 strategy for fingering on the the vial with a claw. Mm. What about it? It's just very impressive. I just haven't seen it before. Is that, are you self taught? Yes. Is, Great, Cloven, you're or, so, so accomplished. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you use a German <laughs> Boeing technique? Yeah, do you use a German <laughs> Boeing technique? We are, we are stepping out of this room, uh, okay? No, wait, um, wait, wait. She just doesn't want him to feel bad. He can't help that he's ugly. No, she no, whispers under his breath. <laughs> wait, Cloven, what do you do here? You see his head kind of sink, and he grabs one of the wine bottles. is isn't quite <gasps> completely um, empty as you... To call him ugly. Oh my god! I didn't and takes call him a ugly. big swig. I'm you sorry, first Cloven. Someone Cloven, called him no. ugly. It was just Waldo. <laughs> I don't his, think it was. I mean, anyway, you said we were leaving. Blame the hat. No, no, yeah. no. Cloven, what do you do here? By the way, this is, is, is there... the uh, the full shot of what he looks like. Also. Oh, oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. That's not oh, bad. Oh no, poor Cloven. Why would you but think we want to see that? <laughs> I know. I feel so bad for him. Nah, he's good. I just want him to have a good life. I'm sorry I called him ugly. <laughs> I still want to know what he does in this room by himself with the baby head. He obviously plays the viola day and drinks. Let's go. <laughs> Is there anything up the the rope? You said it goes up to a bell, right? Yeah, it's like a rope to ring the bell. Okay. And then there's a balcony area also or a battlement? Battlement. Yeah. Yep. You can okay. exit the door here. And Great. Let's go, go that way. So, um, we'll as he takes Marauder. another long, uh, he takes a long swig as if he's almost chugging half this bottle of wine. <sighs> the other lady clanks around sometimes uh, across the way. Oh, on the far right side. She thinks she's hidden, but not quite as sneaky as she thinks. You okay, can. Buddy. And I, I, I am the steward here. I feed the others. It's my job. I can be counted on, unlike the others. Crazy lot. Fair Cloven, I'm... You're here when the abbot operates on this cadaver, is that right? I am, yes. And it is already dead when he brings it here. Yes. Otto yeah. and Siegfried sometimes go at night and find the fresh graves to bring the bodies here. The suitable ones for the abbots for the Silka. They're taking fresh bodies from the people of Krast. From right? from the graves, yes. Down in the town, or the graveyard here? Oh, the graves here are very old. Hmm. How old? Uh, I don't know. They're all dead when the Bellevues came here. Hmm. And how long have you been here? Oh. Maybe I'm uh, I'm thirty three. I think you don't look it. <laughs> you see the fort trying my best oh, flit out of the cherub head. Nice to meet you. 
I'll just lean in as though I'm sharing the deepest of conspiracies, and I'll say, I'm beginning to get a bad feeling about this abbot. I don't know about anyone else. Oh, you've uh, really? just, you've what? just started to get that feeling. <laughs> you know, sure Harry, about, uh, I, I think you're right, Harry. I'm not sure about the rest of you, but I don't think you can be trusted. <laughs> we should be wary. Thanks for the heads up, buddy. No problem. I'm Stay so on guard. Like, wise man. I'm going to go out the door onto the settlement. <laughs> I'm famed. I'm famed for my judge of character. And I'm oh, telling you, this that... abbot, there's something about him. <laughs> now I'm just going to look with the sternest of faces and walk out the door as though I have come, I'm onto something here. I'm putting together the clues, something about this guy, I don't like him. Maris doesn't want to leave bad blood between her and, okay. and uh, Cloven. Tell him the story Clo about Billy, you know, the Billy, 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 Billy Gogroff. <laughs> Yeah, the classic. Anywho. So, no, okay. no, 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 no. Paris, so Paris. No, I, I'm going to grab her and drag her out with me. No, no, you're not. Because Maris you want to make a grapple check? <laughs> Maris is just going to give him a piece of silver for his playing. Because it's beautiful and she apologizes. <laughs> and then she walks out. Unlike <laughs> and she. Uh. Real bard. Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> and she shoots a petulant look at Claire. <laughs> she storms out of the room. You're adorable, but you're going to get yourself killed someday. Oh Just my god, saying. he was totally friendly. He's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is interesting that uh, there seems to be a direct correlation between how beautiful a person is here and how ugly they are as far as the goodness of their heart. You know I was wrong about the sizes, by the way. So, oh yeah, we were uh, very large. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is he still that big compared to us, though? No, no, no. He's he's not very big. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. He's like, oh yeah, he's he was. Come to my room. I Do you stay for dinner? <laughs> oh no, Cloven, we gotta go. Bye. <laughs> not so cute now. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> is that your new boyfriend? I mean, yeah, yeah, you can have Cloven if you're so insistent on me having a boyfriend, then you can have one too. You Does know this what? Mean I maybe, get auto? Yes. Maybe I have sure. lots of boyfriends. Is there a door Claire? over here? <laughs> I'm standing there's, in front of one. There's a door here. I see it. Okay. And a it. door here. Okay. I would like to try the handle on the door that I'm in front of. Okay. Um, It does not appear. To be locked. Have a handle. Just... <laughs> I assume it does not also appear to be a mimic. And you um, see... I will open the door. <laughs> you see what appears to be a ruined office, a wooden counter with a L shape, a shape with an L shaped desk stands at the front of a spacious office here. All the furniture is pretty much rotted away, leaving heaps of moldy wood and faded cloth. Does it look like anyone's been here recently? Um. Uh, make a survival check. Oh, oh great. Okay. Um, that's kind of the, uh, well, I mean, or investigate. Let's see. They're both horrible, so whatever. It doesn't yeah. matter. Hey, not the bad. Hey, I'm 18. Um. Oh, a seven. Few f Wait, no. What was it? Eighteen. 18. Right. Okay. It looks like a few footprints can be visible in the dust, as if someone paced in through the door you came in to here, then back this way, down the stairs, and then back up. Should we check like behind the footprint first? and one stump, or is it two footprints? Like that's a, a good one. question. Are they different? Um, they are different. I, I say this they do not I'm match. the one who had this the survival check. <laughs> <laughs> well, check the other um, doors first. It doesn't actually make a difference. Do we go downstairs or do we go in the door? Well, we there were told by our gracious host that we weren't supposed to go downstairs. Oh, that's right. All right. So, the door then. I'm over here. 
I'll go and check the south door. I'm going with Alimus. Don't fall. I'm gonna keep an eye out behind us. Just in okay. Case. He's got some creepies coming up out behind. Are you guys doing this at the uh, same time, checking the different doors? Apparently. Yeah. So open gotcha. all the doors at once, so we fight all the encounters. Yeah. At once. <laughs> Efficient. <Whee! laughs> Split the party. There you I go. What you mean? This is completely friendly place. Yeah, Cloven was great. Otto's awesome. <laughs> Claire, the you Abbot's open... doing totally normal things. <laughs> he seems great. You open a door and see a spacious chamber that contains bed frames of wrought iron arranged in two neat rows. Cobwebs and bits of rotten mattress cling to each frame. There are doors evenly spaced along the south. Each plaque, each with a plaque mounted on it. From west to east, the plaques read operating room, nursery, and morgue. Ah, the three stages of life. <laughs> You're not there. I come in, I come in just to say that and leave. <laughs> okay. Hang on, as you step in, uh, Harry, let's see you guys. Oh God, um, I get trapped for saying that. No. <laughs> as you do that, um, just Waldo, or sorry, um, Elimus, opens the door to reveal she's not that oh. big hey. a woman kneeling on the ground looking through a journal oh she's she mom. has a uh false leg that you can see mostly covered by a boot but is um a false leg she has exquisitely crafted leather armor she has a hand axe and a sword, both hanging at her hips. She draws both and stands up to look at you. Elimus, you can see also um, a component pouch at her hip. Now, when Claire and um, Harry enter, you see in a couple of these beds, suddenly the sheets rise as if there's someone beneath it and there's like a spectral figure in a few of these one grasps at its stomach and shoots up and goes <laughs> another does the same thing one clawing as if it was in a straight jacket and then rips free and you see six of these figures appearing in the room. Strange, you're the most horrifying rising. Oh, no. Right next to you. Everything okay in there? All right, um, I'm going to go back and say hi to Cloven. <laughs> and... A little help, guys! Oh, no. no. Turn orders up. Oh. You oh. guys explored all the rooms at the same time. No. And one of them calls for initiative. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ooh, I did good for once. I did very bad. <gasps> I beat just Waldo! That's... <laughs> um, guess I'll roll ah. even though I'm in the other room. <laughs> what are these? Hey, I yelled. Oh yeah, yeah. everyone Yeah, we've all got a room. I've, I've indicated the presence of... Nopity, nopity, nope. Danger. <laughs> I know. Nope, 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 nope. Can you blow up one of these um, so yeah. we can see the token a little better? Yeah. Cam? Um. Ah. Oh. The light bulb. Oh. It's like he's doing he's doing a, a bit of the claw. Where is it? I can't That's, see it. Ooh, oh, yes. you've done it over there. Okay. I'm still only the second most hideous thing on the floor of this dungeon. <laughs> That's right. Wow, you are so <laughs> rude. He can't hear me now. I, I can was, be don't know that. I, <laughs> I was like, wow, forget Cloven. Maris has found her new boyfriend. <laughs> I think... Uh, Dawn, that, that's enough DM. You've, you can put it. You gotta stop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Never. There's yeah. one. Who, who are we missing on this? We want to apologize God, to all our two-headed viewers. We don't mean anything by it. Okay. Yeah, what did you roll? Off the flood. Twenty-three nineteen. One of these days, I'll remember to actually click on me first. Oh, okay. Click. 
on me. Now go. all I'm Make thinking is on me. me. All I'm thinking is this guy going dodge as well. Dodge. Yeah, right. As a fly, do you open up the door and see this woman uh, ahead of you? Oh, okay. She turns to look at you, and um, with wide eyes, um, what are you doing here? And um, then you hear your companions go, "Oh, oh, no!" Uh, in a room, <laughs> but around. very much more manly than that. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh no! Um. Wow. <laughs> I almost want to say pass because I have no idea what to do. Uh, I guess. Can you delay your turn? It's like I feel like I. In this, okay. I've I've been playing Pathfinder Kingmaker, and so I'm getting my rule sets crossed. <laughs> right. You can hold an action as a reaction. I guess I would have to say to her probably something along the lines of. You know, that's a really funny story, and then go dashing out the door to try to find out what's going on. <laughs> Be like, hey, hang on. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, put you a can pin use in a movement. That. I know. I'll be right pin? back. Okay. Sean, go ahead and back. use out your movement. <laughs> I'm sorry. My back really itches for some reason. What are you using? I am using a certified back scratcher. Ooh. Oh, okay. Fancy. I was well, you know, the lifa. right the right tool for the job. So it's like, I definitely, like, dashed two turns. Uh, you can get to there. You could probably okay. get to about there, in fact. And call that good. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> and my turn is done. Harry! Okay. Well, I guess I've got to hit this dude. Um, yeah, I'll turn to this guy, and I'll say... The abbot said everything living in this sanctuary was under his care, but he said nothing of the unliving, and I will strike him with my longsword. Lawyer him out of existence. Yeah. <laughs> are, they, are they clearly undead? Oh, oh with a ten, you know. They're spectral, so. Um, clearly, the other living are under his protection as Everyone well. Everyone is I spectral. A ten. So it's strange is that even though it is sort of see-through, it... Ha it, it um, a shield manifests as if it's pulling gear from a long gone um, battle chest and it puts a shield on and ching, uh, swipes your sword out of the way. Cursed abomination. Uh, that will end my turn then. Elimis. Don't you get two attacks? Aren't you? Or are you not that far yet? Oh my god, I'm level seven. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And I'm level 17. You had them at level five, didn't Be you? Quiet, <laughs> no, no or do you the, not multi attack? Uh, multi class bard. Ah, uh, so, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Um, let me see. Long Did you level again, up then, Liz? I take it. Uh, yeah, yeah, level 17 now. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's a little bit more respectable with 16. 16's the number. <laughs> yes. Your peltry shield won't help you now. Uh, I will do a flourish then, defensive flourish. Uh, for an extra 1d8. Well, I'll roll the damage on this first, I guess, on this guy. One-handed, nine, plus okay. 1d8. For five, so uh, 14 damage. And my AC rises to 24. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, sword, and my uh, dueling's not on there, sorry, still. Uh, 11 plus 5 is 16 damage. No, it's not. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. Yes, it is. I'm I'm 29 years old. I should know that. Yeah, 16 damage. Okay. <laughs> Math is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. So, yeah, your, your sword passes through it, but you can see that its form dissipates a bit as if you slice through the air that this incorporeal creature occupies and it fades in and out a bit. You're weakening its hold on reality. Hmm. Elimus, you're up. Obviously, I see Ethelflad sort of run out and I look to the lady. Uh, lady Esmeralda. She looks at you confused and then nods. I say, we've come for your help. But once again, I need to go and help my friends. My apologies. I'll Make a persuasion my... check. <laughs> to her. It won't be your action, but... Okay. Yeah, this is a strange little situation. 17. Oh, I saw that 20 roll by. <laughs> yeah. 17. All right. Not bad. The warriors will start to close in. 
Oh, do I not get a rest of my action? Or? Yeah, isn't that his... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the, <laughs> that, that wasn't your action. Yeah. Um, okay, my so bad. Uh, two, <clears throat> so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, so 5, <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25 to there. Uh, 30 to there, just inside the room, maybe. Actually, the door's open, yep. isn't it? I'll stay there. Um, <clears throat> is it, are all these doors open? They are. There's a desk here, ally here, ally here. So you can see sort of what's attacking them, though it is a difficult shot if you are aiming something. Yeah. Um, oh, it's a touch. Oh, okay, I will. I will just whisper the words "Gelusomnus" and fire at the closest one for a twenty-five to hit. That will hit for eight damage. Magical. You will cold see damage. the um, cold damage splash across it. But it seems to not affect it. Not at all, no. Not at all. I thought as much. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? Nope. Good. All right. Now, oops. Now they attack. Twice at Mr. Harry. Bring it on. Highest roll is a 17, which isn't going to do it. And then they will close, these will close around um, Claire. Uh, I have a 20 to hit on the second attack of the first attack. Was it? Um, it will do 11 force damage. Okay. And the next attack, 15 doesn't hit, correct? It does not. Okay. These will move forward and you will see them reach back. And though they weren't wearing any gear, suddenly these long bows ah. appear. <laughs> um, two um, ghostly arrows come at Harry. I'm sorry, my friend, but I have crit upon thee no for seven force damage. Oh, well, there's yeah. worse things in the world. <laughs> How about spend? that? How about that? <laughs> and then... Um, a, uh, I have a 15 and a 21 <laughs> against Claire. The, uh, the 21 will hit. Another 11 points of force damage. Ah, we it. need some combat the music. Indeed. Thank you. Spooky skeletons. Claire. Um, I will. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh gosh, I am not in a good spot. Um, but I will make do. I will utilize um a vow of enmity on the individual in front of me, so I have advantage on attack rolls that is a bonus action and then i will attack him twice with my long sword um, do it do it england and i uh, just, just wow okay well i assume a 15 doesn't hit unfortunately <laughs> all right it is just below what you need all right so i will uh try my second attack uh 23 to hit that will do it. Okay. Um, so then I will um, expend a second level spell slot to smite. Okay. Um, in addition to the damage, which was uh, 14 slashing damage. Um, these are undead. You got it. Okay. Um, so then... 46 of smite, no, 48 of smite damage uh, for 10 extra. So 24 total. Okay. A good smite, though. 
you see its form dissipate considerably. Probably. Anything else for Claire? That's it. All right, Maris, you're up. Okay, so Maris, can she see each of the party members if she were to like rotate <laughs> in her current space? Um, from where you are, um, yes. Cool. So Maris will begin to utter a prayer of blessing and Hooray. she will bless all of her compatriots, including Harry, because he has proven himself. Oh, yay. <laughs> yeah. Also, because I have enough spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, more importantly, <laughs> but more importantly that, um, <laughs> so I have cast bless and, um, it will cover each of my friends and then for my bonus action. Okay. I can't cast, um, spiritual weapon, right? Because this is a leveled spell. Correct. Okay. Well then for her bonus action, she's just going to give everyone a thumbs up. <laughs> As Maris does. Um, <laughs> while while you're waiting for your turn, Liz, can you see if you can find out how to, if you can turn your mic up? People are saying it's really low. Oh no! Okay, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll right, work on it. Just put it right there. Okay, I'll just speak into the mic like this. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh. <laughs> you didn't like it. <laughs> That's better. That's actually a lot okay. better. That's actually oh a lot better. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> you will see uh, her run around the corner here. I love that voice from her. Actually... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, team, I believe in you. <laughs> I would have like the room. turned and like walked the other way the first time I met her. If that's how she talked. <laughs> Fran <laughs> Drescher is Fran Drescher is our is our character. <laughs> She's so peaceful. Just peaceful. Mm. Okay, that's my turn. Thumbs up. A little bit of Barovian sunshine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Off the rails, folks. All right. Um, the, uh, you will see your um, newfound, perhaps, ally run up behind you just while though, or uh, excuse me, Elimus. And you will see in her hand uh, a bit of fire appears. And she will look to you and say, um, I do believe that place is haunted. It's, uh, and uh, that's why I didn't go in there. And that's all she will do with her turn. Okay. Just Waldo. Yes. Just Waldo might try something unlikely to succeed, but we will try. Okay. Just Waldo will take a step and look in and see these ghostly apparitions. He will use a bonus action to use the glamoured armor to change it to look identical to the ghost's armor, complete with a helmet. And he will step forward next to Maris and say, This attack is a distraction! The enemy is in the yard! Defend the castle to the walls! And I would like to make a persuasion check as uh, as my action. It will be a deception check. Deception though. check, of course. Certainly. Yes! Oh. <laughs> I have rolled a one. No. <laughs> and a one on the bless, so a total of 11. Uh, but it was a... <laughs> you know, if oh. it had been 19 higher, it would have been a 20. So... <laughs> There is that. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's... I rolled for them, too. But they, um... You look forward, and you say, um... Uh... <laughs> and they, it's, it's you hear the... one of them say, You led us to our deaths, you coward! Yes, I did. I did indeed. Come and get me. <laughs> and I turn around and I run. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to set up a shot for the mages. Athelflaed. Uh, I'm going 
to scooch my booch. Oop. To like in front of the desk, not quite right on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not Just plop yourself up on it. <laughs> Much better vantage point. I'm going to bonus action cast, not Hail of Thorns. Uh, I'm going to do Hunter's Mark. On this one, do I have a clear line of sight for that, or clear enough? Um, onto that that one, yeah, definitely. This one, this one. This one, yeah, you can see it still. Okay. It'll have partial cover, probably through the door. Difficult shot, but um, yes. Well, okay. especially since directly engaged with your bard friend. So Hunter's Mark on him, mm -hmm. and hopefully dodging my bard colleague, not friend. Hiya. I mean, I got a 19 for my longbow. That'll do it, yeah, even with their cover. You thread the needle there. Ha -ha! So that's 12 for my nice. first 16 attack. damage. Oh yeah, bless. No, it's sixteen with your hunter's mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then I forgot bless as well. But the, the, yeah, the bless on your attack. Bless only that. adds to the um, to hit. So My nice. Brain. So on, the arrow doesn't seem to do quite as much damage as you would expect. However, the extra oomph that the hunter's mark gives it is effective. Yay! And then I guess, well. So, if I didn't have the Hunter's Mark on it, it probably wouldn't do the same damage. So then I guess I'm done, because if I shoot it again, I'm just wasting my ammo. No, you can shoot it again. It did damage. Your regular arrow did damage, just not as much. Okay. Your Hunter's, mark, your hunter's mark did full damage, and your Hunter's Mark it, persists. It stays up. Every time you hit, every time you hit the creature marked with Hunter's Mark, it does extra damage. I thought it was only a one time. No, it's super good spell. Oh, it's just a bunch of extra yeah. damage. So yeah, shoot again. I'll shoot it again. Roll a d20 then. I don't yeah. like that. <laughs> Click the wrong button. Yeah. Way to go me. <laughs> Let's just ignore both of those and pretend. Uh, ro just... Roll another attack. So you rolled a seven. So what's your I, usual I, attack? Uh, That'll so be a 16. You 16. need to roll for your bless though. So roll a d4. So 18. Hey. <laughs> That's going to be what you need. So with the cover, that hits. Roll so we can use that uh, I mean, I'll roll damage. Hand, but, yeah. Yep. Nice. All right. So and then roll your hunter's mark damage again. Another d6. 66. And another two damage. All right. Cool. I believe that's the entirety of your turn, unless you want to finish your movement somewhere. But otherwise, we're up to Harry. Yeah, you see these I mean. arrows <laughs> striking through the ones in front of you, though they are fixated on attacking you with their swords. Okay, cool. Arrows are getting a bit too close. I don't know if she's meant to hit me or not there. Um, but, Oron uh, style, it's just <laughs> over your it's, hair. It's exactly yeah, exactly. what it is. <laughs> uh, I'll bounce a sword on the edge of my shield and sort of jab it into this guy who's right ahead of me mm -hmm. um, with a long sword attack, um, which is here. Um, oh, God, why did it go for that one? Well, I've got another roll on that, so let's try again. Okay, there we go. Uh, Much better. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which I'll add a two to this damage for my um, dueling. So 13 plus my 1d8 from Bardic Inspiration, which is a five. Are you so doing another flourish? Yeah, defensive flourish again. All right. As I just hold the shield up, the portcullis closes. Um, but before I do, I'll point my sword towards um, Claire, and I will say... Um, Courage, while all around you are doubting, and I will cast a healing word. Thank you. For 1d4 plus 4, which I'll just type. Uh, for 8 healing. 8, thank you. 
Should I do, what's that, 13, um, 18 damage to him. Yeah, very nice. Really cool turn. Good. Mm, Ends my turn. Elimus. Elimus <laughs> will look at her and say, yes, undead. Uh, ignore the idiot at the front that's dressed like one. And I will point to the middle of the room and uh, it will start drawing and there'll be five, sorry, four black glyphs that start, obviously, as he's sort of drawing it in the air. And he will speak the words, Demantu Mortis. And then from the cracks of the floor, burst out these tentacles in a 20 foot radius. It's the same mm. fireball, I believe. And I place it here. Okay. <clears throat> so it catches them. And just black what do they need rubbery to do? tentacles come pouring out of the ground from under the beds. And they uh, have to make a... When a creature enters an affected area for the first time on its turn, or if it starts there, the creatures must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 3d6 damage. Gotcha. All right. <clears throat> um, so that'll happen on their turn, which is coming up. Oh, uh, but I got to take it now anyway, but... Um... Or does it... It's If they if it specifies when they start when their the turn, there, it's usually not... Enters the, if enters the affected area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Yeah, so, so it'll on a it's turn, when they start their turn. That's on but, a turn or when it starts its turn. Right. It <clears throat> but those are those two, it, it's not when the effect starts, that doesn't count as entering. So if you put it on them, they get the save when they start their turn there, or if anyone goes into it. Um you don't get to double up on no. those. They're, it's a little bit weird bit of how they're worded, but um they they all Nice they all will have to make the save regardless. Yeah. So, but on the start of their turn. So. Nice <clears throat> damage, though. Nice damage. Um. This nice damage. Is anybody? Does anybody attacking with silvered weapons? Do they seem to make a difference? My west sword is made of steel. Mine is magical, technically. You see, Harrison's sword seems to be working really well against it. Okay. Athelflaed's arrows, not as much. Not so much. Okay. Okay. Um, so, start of their turn. All right. Dexterity saves, you said? Yep. Do we have anything affecting this? Nope. I've got a 1, a 3, a 4, and a 16. Okay. They all take 15 magic damage. Oh, isn't your save 16, though, sir? 16, yeah, my save. Yeah, didn't you say? Yeah, what, one got a 16. Oh, okay. Um, where creatures? Uh, let's see, don't say, probably will take 3d6. And be restrained. Wowzers. That's a pretty good spell right there. Uh, you can use your action to make a strength or dexterity check against my spell DC to escape yeah. the grapple. Cool. If not, so can. that will happen to them on their turn. This one will do the damage. Damage is, seems to be quite effective. <clears throat> Our, oops. Okay, and. They can't really do much about it. They are just going to try and attack Claire with disadvantage. Bro. Means 14 and 9 for the first attacker. Nope. And 14 and 8 for the second or for the other attacker. I'm good. The one with the long bow. Looking like you are weakening will fire twice. This one does not have disadvantage. She's the only one not restrained. Mm -hmm. and will um, have a 20 to hit. That does hit. For six force damage. Okay. And he will retreat from the tentacles. <clears throat> All right. This one will fire at two arrows at Mr. Harry. He's got a six and an 11, thanks Brandy. to the restrained condition. <laughs> uh, you also have two warriors in front of you intent on 
hurting you. Mm -hmm. uh, straight attacks, 10 and 15, 22 and 15. So mm -hmm. 22 is the high. Hit. 22 but misses, huh? It yeah. does miss indeed. It wow. can't get through the portcullis, I'm afraid. They cannot. They, you hear clink, 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 clink as so many attacks bounce off of the bard's shield. Sometimes. Which brings us to Claire. Okay. Um, I'll start with an attack against the one in front of me, which I... There are, they are restrained, correct? Yep. Which um, reminds me... You. How what how that affects them? You have advantage on yeah. attacks against. So I remember them. to shift okay. shift click the attack button. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Right, thank you. Um, okay, so did it work? Yeah. Yay! It did. Okay, Good. so twenty five on the first um, guy in front of me. Okay. For um, eleven damage, and I'll throw in a um, first level smite into that okay. for an additional um, 3d8. If it will roll the dice for me, that is the question. Uh, 16 damage. This one will wink out of existence. Yay. <laughs> All right, and scream then disappearing into nothingness. I will pivot my stance towards the one that's right here and make my second attack. Careful on the ACL. It's a bad basketball joke. <laughs> 17 to hit. Um, yes, you will hit. Right. Uh, forget the bless. Damage in, uh, well, yes, it's still fine. Uh, so 12 regular damage, and then I will toss a second level smite into that for 4d6. Or 48, I can talk, it's fine. Uh, for an additional nice. 19 damage. So nice, a total nice, of nice. Uh, 31. Paladin's Five. doing paladin things. Yeah. Boom. Another one winks Good. out of existence. Excellent. Another one bites the dust. Glad we ordered the paladin. <clears throat> is that it for... Clark? Oh, yes. That is all. Maris. Okay. Um... Can I get into the room with Claire and Harry? Or do I need yeah, to? Yeah, you can, I... you can get to this square here. Okay, so Right behind I Claire and yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll move but, there but, and- But I only if you talk into the mic. <laughs> I'll move there. <laughs> <laughs> and I will cast a uh, word of radiance. Ooh. And so, Maris will take hold of her holy symbol and clasp it in her hands, and she will attack the two ickies right there, right there. And then it says any, um, any body that I can see. So each creature of my choice. So can Within I try to range. attack all? So oh, it's, so it's a five, five feet, foot. So just those two. Can I get just those the, two? Just the one. Um, Good you grief. Could, you could move through Lena's square and go to here. And then I could get two of them. I think, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. So that's what I'll do. Um, or move around, yeah. Either way, it would work. Mm -hmm. She jumps or on a Harry's. bed. There um, you go. Aha! <laughs> yeah, aha! <laughs> um, <laughs> and I will cast that. Cool. Nice. Yes. The one um, that Harry had struck twice whoosh, will wink out of existence as your words nice. prohibit it from existence. Cool. And then uh, is it half? Sorry, excuse me. Is it half damage on the, or save, or is it sorry. or is it no damage? Sorry. Is it half? Is it save for half damage or just for? Um... Let for no damage at all. I think I, I have it pulled check. up. Okay, it's just it's just um Yeah, that all or no nothing. damage, right? Yeah. So the the top the other one takes no damage. Okay. Um and so then for my bonus action I will cast spiritual weapon. Cool. And a nineteen. Um Will 19? it hit? 
will hit. Yay! So Maris evokes her spiritual weapon and uh, bonks it on the head. There you go. We'll have that be your spiritual weapon for now. Cool. And that's shiny. Four. It's so pretty. Let's see. Eleven force. Eleven damage. Very nice. And that will be my turn. Esmeralda will come around the corner here. Sort of next to you, just Waldo. Hello, I am, I'll tell you later. <laughs> and she will throw a fire bolt to the one all the way back here. Um, she hits AC 19 and deals 17 points of fire damage. Wow. wow. Good fire AC. bolt from her. Good uh, fire bolt. Mm -hmm. <sighs> It's a level 25, but it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what she oh, will do. Kitty. She gives you a curt nod, just Waldo. Ah, yes. This is your turn. I'm sorry, I have to go to work. Because Waldo's going to toss a cat at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just Waldo. Well, that didn't work at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that close enough to attack? Uh, you have not yet moved on my screen. Uh, sorry. Ah, oh. there you are. Oh, are you yes, going into the tentacles? I dodge, I jump, I jump around the tentacles, right? Yeah, you got roll a 16 dexterity save then. You will need to make that save. Will I? Oh my god. Well, yeah. Dang. All right. Let's see if that works. Um, ta da! Ooh, nope. yeah, yeah. I will um, use a reaction to. Can I bardic inspiration the same for I'm not a bard. Not as a reaction. He has um, yeah, bless. 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 Oh, bless. 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 Right. Nope. Yeah. Oh. It's not my night, everyone. So <laughs> I, get... I, I assume I stop. Yeah, I stop there. Stop there. Oh. oh. And Elimus, would you like to roll your damage on just Waldo? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Can I just click that again? Does it do oh, it again? Gosh. You should be able to. No, it doesn't do it. It's a shame. Uh, is this an attack well or a, um, a saving choices. throw? It's a saving throw. Oh, nice. Oh, oh good. Absolute <laughs> trash against your allies. Can I use um? Can I use evasion to? That's only on um. It's a no. That's uncanny dodge evasion fact is a constant thing so you always take half or none correct yeah. right so you will take three damage three <laughs> got it because ah there's something sticky on the floor in here <laughs> but you They're are riling up everywhere so no, they no, literally sure. grabbed you they're like poking you in the eyes and everything <laughs> it's not been just well those night they're everywhere um Ethelflaed. So, Edge says, well, you have not used your action, though. So I have can... not. Um, can I get out? <laughs> yep. Same roll again. You can again. try versus Acro acrobatics DC. or athletics. Acrobatics, it is. Natural 20 <laughs> for 31. <laughs> yes. I will just flip back to here. <laughs> flippy, flippy. Oh, just fall there. Got it. I no, am helping. I am helping. <laughs> if you flip into some tentacles and flip out on your turn, it's just so <laughs> peculiar yeah. form of combat I've never seen. <laughs> Look how confused they are. Look it how comes confused from everyone arms. is. You're still dressed as a ghost as well. I don't understand what's going on. I, I, turn, I, around to, I turn around to Esmeralda. See, I told you he was an idiot. <laughs> Embrace the chaos. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I am over here now. Voila. I'm going to... Let's do Hunter's Mark for that one. One right in the middle. Yeah. Yep, I can move it since it died. 
Remember to shift click it. My shift. Oh, so oh if yeah. If you if you're oh. shooting the one in the middle, then yeah. Yep. Yep. No, no, not that one. <laughs> the actual attack. <laughs> you're telling me things like I'm supposed yeah. to remember how this w game works. When you roll to hit, press shift click. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so Hunter's Mark IV, that one, going to then follow it up with the longbow twice. So it's a 21, not including bless. You don't need to roll the bless. So I hit. wanted to roll it anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I did it. I forgot. So, pretending that I rolled that with advantage correctly, that's a 12. So you, you no, don't roll the damage yeah. with advantage, just the, it's just to hit, so you get 10 piercing damage. So. You just told me that. It's so 15, five mm -hmm. of it's the magical. Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> five of it's magical for Hunter's Mark. She's shocked. Now you can roll again. Oh. The attack roll with advantage. Mm -hmm. Shift click. You'll get used to it. I know, I just want to like pick up my dice and just throw them at the computer and be like, there, good enough. Don't do it. I won't do it, because I'll break my computer. There you go, hit again. 27's good enough. And nice. then go ahead and roll another d6. Oh. Mm, plus another three. This one is starting to look quite diaphanous as it is fading from view good word yeah. which was the one that you targeted teresa Lisa one right okay. in the middle mm -hmm. all right it'll be harrison now okay well upward slash try and like dissipate this creature from existence altogether um i'm not sure how damaged it is but let's try so i'm rolling two of these um for two attacks 12 and a 17. bless Oh, right. I'll Go ahead and roll the one. bless. Uh, a 15, a 14, and a 17. 14 will not hit, 17 will. Okay. Um, so it'll be this plus 2. Uh, 12 damage. Nice. It is so barely there, but okay. it is still there. And again, I'll point to uh, Claire, I think he's damaged. And I'll say... Um, Poise when the line falls all around you. And our healing word again. Hmm. For 1d4. You muted, Sean. That healing word is the, right? Yeah, it's the. Yeah. It's the on everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's uh, five healing. Thank you. Cool. And, and it's to Elimus. Uh, Elimus moves in. Uh, 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 uh. Stands on top of the table and sort of like you can see him concentrating on the spell that he's got held. Um, <coughs> he will just hold the spell there and not do anything. No action? No, I mean, the, the cold damage doesn't do anything, so. Oh, I see. Yeah, conserving your resources. So I have a few. They need. He needs to. Uh, no, uh, he's already in there, so he hasn't <clears> he needs tried to. Roll to again? Uh, no, he hasn't tried to break free. He's got no, break free of it. Right, that's what I mean. He you so need he to roll takes, damage against him yeah. again. <clears throat> Dice eleven damage. Mm -hmm. They start battering him. It's you. He's barely visible. This one will take a shot towards Athelflaed. Two shots, in fact. Uh, with a 18 and a 14. 18 hits. Four. 10 points of force damage. Uh. This one takes a disadvantage shot at Maris. 
Ooh, there was a natural 20 in there, but oh. thankfully, oh, it's, a it's, only a, it's only a seven because it's a disadvantage. <laughs> Super misses. And one more towards mage spells are the best. Mage mm -hmm. spells are the best. They're pretty good. Towards um, just Waldo. Oh, go back three. Come on. Uh, another seven. So, ha ha. Ha ha. They are dissipating fast. Claire. Hmm. Time to mop them up. Yeah. Um, that's the hope here. I will. Guy north of me attack me? Or is he just. Uh, he attacked just Waldo. Ah, oh, right. Okay. I will. Oh, no, I can't do that. I use those spell slots already. Never mind. I was going to miss you, step, but I can't. Um, Eldritch Blast. Well, I'm not sure if... I Eldritch can't remember Blast. how um, necrotic damage works on undead in this. I'm not it sure it would them. actually do anything. I'm not sure it heals them, but it also might not Let's do anything. Let's find out. <laughs> um, oh, no, wait. It depends. It's not necrotic damage, it's force damage. I was re I was reading my hex spell. Um, yeah, so I'll, um, just for flavor, I'm going to point my sword out to the one that's uh, fucked up in the middle of these tentacles and uh, Eldritch blast him a couple times, um, sending a jets of energy out from my sword. Um, and I can, I get two of those. Shift, shift click, shift um, click. Uh, yep. 20 to hit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you for... can choose another target for the other hmm. one. Delightful. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, I will target the one that's across the room then. So just a regular. One other one with a longbow. Yes. 25 to hit for another 10 you damage. Roll for cr oh, there you go. <laughs> no. He's not restrained. It is good. Pew, pew. Yes, it um, seems to go straight through it and... It leaves a hole in the middle of its spectral form, and you see it sh starting to sort of reform, but very slowly, as and it starts sort of winking in and out of existence. Um, cool. Yeah, I'll hold it there. Paris. Cool. So the cool. one. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so the one furthest is the one that has the most damage, or the one behind me. Um, they look sort of similar. Oh, great. Okay. They both so, look pretty damaged. Okay. So I will cast <laughs> Scorching Ray. And, oh uh, man. Okay. So 11, does 11 hit? <laughs> Doesn't. You get a few more. That's true. Okay. So the first one does not. Um, And then 23. That does hit. But only for six damage. Um, All right. So uh, you, the one right next to you. Yes, and then so I. That sorry. I, 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 oh. Ah, ah. So you, you're technically at disadvantage okay. since it's right next to you, but with twenty three and seven, twenty seven. Uh huh. Twenty three definitely hits it. Okay. So. Cool. So, I would like to hit. The one here and well, the one behind. Well, hang on a minute. So yeah, that so your, your second there. ray is is disadvantage. Yeah. So it will uh -huh. be a twenty three to hit it. Um, but well, no, that no. six fire damn. What she rolled an eleven and a twenty three for the first one. No, if it's disadvantage. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, so the so first twenty three hit for six misses. Yeah, I did. So you got to roll again as you got disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Sadly, you lose the crit unless you double crit. <laughs> Okay, so I roll one more time. Mm -hmm. It depends who this is aimed at. If this is aimed at the one in the far corner, then no. It it's still it's it, as long as there's a, someone threatening you. Oh, oh I see. Okay, yeah, it okay. doesn't matter. The target doesn't matter. Yeah. So uh, back to twenty three. Okay. Yeah. So that'll hit. So a twenty three. Yeah, and that one dissipates. Nice. After your fire damage, so you have one bolt left. Great. Um, I will try to hit the one across the room. Okay. And nice. That will hit. Great. <laughs> Very the, good. Um, knowing that obviously that I've killed the, the, the ones in the thing, I can I drop the spell? Yeah, you can drop concentration on a yeah. spell at any time. 
So. Um. And then can I still use my spiritual weapon as a bonus action? Since you can, passed. but it's it can only move twenty feet in a round, so it's gonna I can't make it. okay. it's gonna have to hustle. <laughs> okay, it's gonna have to hustle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll move over there. It's not gonna probably end up doing anything. But all right, <laughs> you never know. You never, never know how know. many natural ones can happen. <laughs> True. Yeah. Okay, and that is my turn. Okay. Uh, Smeralda will move to here. She will look around the corner to do another firebolt. Uh, she has an ooh, she has a nine to hit. That was not super good. So it will go wide as she's trying to avoid um, casting into any of your faces. Oh, that's nice of her. Yeah, it's Waldo. There are no uh, more yes. tentacles. Oh, excellent. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I will bonus action dash, then eight to there, and I will slash him with my silver rapier. Do, do. Sixteen, uh, thirteen, with the D four. Have to roll a four, right? Yeah, sixteen, no hit. Sixteen hits. Was it? It hit? was only mm -hmm. the cover that made a sixteen miss. Ah, before. excellent. Well, in that case, I did a total of four, um, fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen damage. Uh, piercing. The silveredness doesn't seem to necessarily be effective on this. But it's... All right. It is quite wounded. Athelflaed. And I will step back to uh, give someone else a turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Then I shall do my handy dandy. <sighs> Hunter's mark on our last guy. Just, mm -hmm. just to do. Definitely I hits. hits. I was gonna say, I hope that hits. Two plus four, seven. All right, not quite enough. Then I'll shoot him one more time. Go second, for it. Second attack. Oh, I have to shoot. I have to do the 20. <laughs> I got so excited, I just click on it. The arrow has to get there before it deals damage. <laughs> I'm just like, just the damage now. <laughs> right, 27, how's that? No need to roll damage. <laughs> it had one hit point. Uh, the final blow is yours. How does your arrow strike this final target? Yeah. Let's say spectacularly right through the middle of one of his... Specter-ish eyes. Yes, so it simply passes through and impacts and finds, even though this is a brick building, it finds a chink in the brick and just um, absolutely sticks between sticking there and the figure dissolves into a mist carried away in the breeze. Yay! Well, that was delightful. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna walk over and take that arrow out of the wall. That's my good luck arrow now. <clears throat> nice. Uh, the, I'm really starting to doubt the abbot's good willingness. The sort of yipping and yapping that you heard before coming from the barracks has intensified now as you can hear the um, sound of these creatures screaming coming up through the floor. Was it possible to discern while they were still up, like what manner of creature they were? Uh, go ahead and make a religion check. Okay. Oh, um, I, I sorry, I meant not not what sort of undead they were, like what they had been in life. Oh, they looked human. Human, okay. Well, um, good job, everyone. 
But yep. uh, what, what in what in the god's name Let's is that, that racket? What are they doing? They're probably distressed. They made a lot of noise up here. They are insane. You will see this woman step through. I will give you a little um, handout to show you what she looks like. If I can find it. Aha. That is a dope picture. Mm -hmm. He Jennifer. looks like a badass. <laughs> she does. She's well. got both legs. <laughs> you can see that be below the knee on the left leg, though she has a boot over it, there is an iron leg. You must be Esmeralda. Now, how do you know my name? We're, uh, we have a mutual acquaintance. Um, by the name of um oh shoot what was his actual name um i'm having a player brain part moment um it wasn't actually Rictavio, right it was von richten but yeah von richten ah and what does he want with me um well not that he wants anything from you he just indicated um or told us a little bit about you um said you were powerful you knew a lot um we were actually directed to come here to find you by um divination magics um it said that you might be able to help us help you with what i would ask you be very plain with me at the moment we are against strahd She nods and says, Well, that is why I'm here as well. I've heard that this creature here is making some sort of puppet to be the bride of Strahd. Mm. I had hoped that he might visit and that I might ambush him in this place. Well, He's dangerous. Why do you want to stop him, Esmeralda? Surely it could cause no harm, even if it isn't successful. No, I mean, I want to... Oh, Strahd. <laughs> yes. I see. Oh. That's not actually a bad plan. Mm. Would the abbot side with us, or with Strahd? This... I cannot know. I guess he the is... better question is, would Strahd actually come here for this constructed bride? Or would Hello, he expect it to be brought to him? Perhaps. I have waited here for a bit of time now, and he has not come yet. So I'm thinking, perhaps you are right. Um, I... I'm Claire. Nice to meet you, by the way. You um, as well. My friend here indicate to James Waldo, says that I am, I often don't introduce myself, and that it is rude to not do so, so I'm trying it out. You did well in that fight. You have, you are very powerful. Thanks. Um, I, my friends are also pretty cool. I've seen, yeah. so perhaps not quite as well equipped as you should be to fight these kinds of things. Well, I would have to agree with you there. We initially had trouble with strange wolf man creatures. So we sought about taking steps to help with that. And I show the silver blade. But against things like this and against vampires, we have a few very useful things, but I'm afraid my rapier is next to useless. It is not useless, but it is not enough. And she will draw 
a rapier from her belt and do a bit of a flourish and then toss it towards you. Very nice. What do you think of it? Mm. Test the weight. Do a couple of tricks. Very nice. Where did you get this? It uh, took a long time to make with the help of Rudolf. Amazing. I, I am Gesualdo Tocarembo La Tomba del Fuego Santa Malibeza Catecadote de San Cruz de la Rosa at your service. Um, most impressive. Would you mind if I... No, never mind. Here you are. Perhaps I could acquire something similar at some point. The way you strike is very precise. I admire Just your... Sticking with the pointy end. Huh. Very good. There are many who value the amount of wounds one can make, but to make a wound so painful and so precise as to, well, make only one necessary is... Admirable. Oh, I like her. I've already called shotgun. This may be... <laughs> this may be better suited in other hands, but we will see. Your skills lie with the sword, Esmeralda, not with magic. How did you hope to best shroud in an ambush? Oh, she has some magic. Oh, of course, the firebolts. I'm trained in both. And she will, um, but uh, there's no need to show off at the moment. I do not wish to overuse these things in case we are attacked again. Uh, I admit that my plan may have been one of desperation. Will you allow me to accompany you if this is indeed your mission? Absolutely. You know, we might have three or four more stops, but we actually have an invitation to visit Strat in his castle. Written in his I think hand. we've ticked him off enough that he's noticed us. Well, no, I would... Surely he still wants us to come to dinner. After what you pulled today, I'm really not sure about that. Oh, I think he probably wants us to come even more now. Mm. That's dinner. It is ungentlemanly to rescind an invitation. I'm sure he wouldn't want to offend us. Oh, yes, because he's absolutely a gentleman. He carries himself well, from what I've seen, is what I'm saying. From my yeah, readings, you he, would was think once, so. he was once a gentleman. Do not underestimate him. And do not put him into any sort of mold. As soon as you have contained your perception of him, you have underestimated him. He is both an absolute gentleman and an absolute bastard. You see, he can be either at his own will. He is both, always. He is absolutely cunning. And as soon as you limit your perception, as soon as you think this is not possible, you have lost. Strad knows more about you than you think possible. I guarantee it. If indeed that thunder was what I thought I heard today. Oh, it definitely was. He does not like us for many, many reasons. So, steal yourselves. Gather yourselves together for this. Make defeating him the only thing that matters. Not how, not who he is. The only thing that is absolute that you know is that he must be undone. Everything else doesn't matter. Yes? Oh, it seems they stopped. <laughs> For now. No, oh, no, 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 there I go again. <laughs> um, they ramble incessantly all night about food and that kind of thing. Well, maybe yeah. we should just leave then. You said they were insane? Oh, quite, I think. Is this an asylum? It has become that way. So I think it was once something else. She gestures to the doors. Yeah, I want to take a quick peek inside of those, if you'll indulge my curiosity for a moment. I want to step over here. She's a completist. You have to forgive her. Gotta click all the check marks, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Gotta unlock all of the waypoints. 
Okay. Here. There is the room of magical items. A bloodstained ah. table in the middle of an otherwise empty room. No. Uh, recent blood or old? Um tough to tell. You would think it should be old, but it looks maybe fresher than you would expect. Would you like to go investigate? No, I'll just open the next door. Okay. This contains the wreckage of old wooden cribs. And the final door. Bye, Claire. <laughs> you see here a raven perched on the windowsill of an otherwise empty room. Oh. Hello there. It just looks and cocks its head. <laughs> well, have a good rest of your day. And I'll come <laughs> back. All right. <sighs> Curiosity, indulge. Let's get the fuck out of here. So, are we going for the dress? Are we going for the sword? The sword. Well, I think we should try to catch um, Anna. Um, maybe make the trip with them just so they have a little more protection in the forest. And then send them back with the dress while we head up the mountain for the sword. Um, we've been told the same the same powers that led us to you, Esmeralda, um, gave us knowledge of a powerful sword that could be used against Strahd. Um, I... Okay. Where is it? A uh, place called the Amber Temple. You see her eyes go wide. I have We're aware that it's place. dangerous. A place of immense power. Yeah. Great evil. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's worth it? It was a sword that belonged to his brother, Sir Guy. Okay. Serge. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right as well, though. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, good. If you think it is necessary or will help in defeating him, then I will accompany you. I Who hasn't led must... us wrong yet. We haven't been led wrong yet. I must make I must. another suggestion. I have been looking. There is an old, an old windmill manor to the south. Oh, yeah. It used to be populated by a knightly order. My own magics have divined that there could be a potential ally located in this place. Okay. That is all I have heard. But it is something to investigate, I think. There's also that wizard's tower that you were interested in, Alimus. Hmm. Oh, all kinds of interesting places to go. So one on the island. Yeah. I'm still worried about those scarecrows. Should we just go take out the stick? The, the, the abbot didn't believe they were real or moving. But he also said that they are under his protection. So if we take them out, then we have to deal with him. Mm -hmm. Which I don't Is think we can do. Worth it? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I think as long as the scarecrows stay where they are, then we have no reason to deal with them. I mean, like Esmeralda said. Hmm. What was in these Focus rooms, on Claire? The end game. What was that? What was in these rooms? Yes. Um, <laughs> bloody table, destroyed cribs, and a blank room. Oh, there's a raven in the windowsill. What, one of our friend ravens, or? Didn't really make a movement either way. I said hello and left. Well, then why don't we say goodbye, Handy? Sounds fine to me. Huh. What time is it, DM? Um, you guys have spent 
a better part of the day around Kresk, visiting the Abbot and back. It's getting later, I would say. Mid-afternoon, perhaps, late afternoon. Perhaps a rest, and then tomorrow we try to catch the people heading south. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Where are you choosing to rest? Or attempting um, to rest? And in- not here. <laughs> Not with the screaming people downstairs. <laughs> was there an inn of any sort? There is not an inn. Where was um, Irena and... Um, they stayed with the Burgomaster. They were staying with the Burgomaster? Yeah. Which, given yes. his... Well, I don't know. He might have warmed to us a little more. He seemed keen on us leaving as soon as possible the last time we spoke at length, but... Who knows, maybe the return of his son has changed his mood. Well, he's probably going to be using that spare bedroom, though. Mm, that's true. Um, Esmeralda, have you been in Kresk? Do you know of any place where we could spend the night? Um, there is no inn or anything like that. But the people are very friendly from what I've gathered. Hmm. We might be able to find someone who might have space, even if it's just in like a barn or something. It's a roof over our heads. Well, I, Alimus and I helped with the delivery of the child. Maybe. Alimus sat outside and you helped with the delivery of the <laughs> well, child. Well, I was trying to be charitable, Claire. Mm -hmm. um, um, that's not yeah, a bad just, idea. Yeah, we can just go ask. See if anyone has a spare place to sleep, and if not, then we can camp out. Cool. A little, a little bit of fast forward. If when you guys go down to town, for instance, Maris, those people will gladly host you, feed you, etc., in their home. Um, they only have room for you. The rest of you, they'll they'll kind of say that this is this this town functions very communally, and if anyone would like to help out one of the families with something, oh. something that they could do, it's likely they will take you in. Okay. So how each of you does that is up to you. If you sleep outside, it is very, very cold. Mm -hmm. Again, it is snowing here. It will be an unpleasant night alone. So it's up to you to determine how you might win over a family or perform a favor or something like that for them to earn your way in. So I'll leave that to each of you to decide whoever has thought of something. Maris has already done a very good deed, so can um, has earned her place. So whoever thinks of something, let me know. Is this a, a potential place where I might utilize my um, background feature? <laughs> where um, it says Actually, that yes okay <laughs> as you are looking one of the um you see um actually um a man who is seems to be a blacksmith you know is a small smith or whatever is missing um most of his leg as well most of the, his right leg and he will at, say you look weary, soldier. That's one way to put it. Put down the shield. Sheath the sword. Loosen those straps. I've seen that look too many times. We have a hot meal soon. And some wine. Come on in. I appreciate it. Thank you. Is there any chance that there's any room for one or two more, or at your, your stretch to your limit? Ah, uh, we only got but one extra cot. I'm sorry. That's all right. Anyone else? Um, unfortunately, Jezwaldo's ways of helping himself to a room are not the very honest. I didn't say it had to be honest. All right. Well, okay, I look for a large house. 
Okay, none of none of them are particularly large. Burgomaster is a, certainly the largest, but you could find the second largest home. Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Yeah. The door opens. There's, there seems to be a man and a woman standing there looking at you. Uh, good evening. Um, my name is. Uh, well, it's Jeswaldo. I am one of the people who brought the wine to the town, but uh, unfortunately, it does not look like I will be able to leave until tomorrow. Do you, do you suppose that I, may perhaps one of my comrades, could find a place to stay? Maybe a barn or something similar? Are you an early riser? I can be. Well, he will point out across town there is a um uh basically a thresher you will say if you sunrise make sure that the troughs out back are filled with oats you're willing to sleep uh, you can sleep anywhere you'd like barn or in the home so i will definitely do that you piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> they look ex are, are you lying yes Deception check in that case. Uh, 21. All right. They believe you. Slick. Uh, anyone else? Can, do they have room for anyone else? They would. The second wealthiest family, they, they keep cattle and uh, keep pretty well with My them. Lord Harrison. Yes. Just I have room. found you a place for this evening. Beds, I'm sure. Indeed. Warm breakfast. Absolutely. Fresh <laughs> yes, they'll take good care of you, sir. Warm bath? Uh, I think that's probably too much to ask for, but they are good people. I don't like the sound of good people, but okay, I'll try it. I trust you. I trust of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, follow into this, what I'm sure is a five-star hotel room. <laughs> Not even remotely. <laughs> <laughs> Half star. I will, speaking of wine, of I will also uh, look for a couple bottles, if I can find it somewhere in town. I assume they have a lot of it since we just brought it. Yes, so you can get some wine. Okay. So, uh, Elimus. I looked at the rest of the group. I can't believe we have to do this. Follow me. I'll go and knock at a large household. Mm-hmm. I'll just knock my staff against the door. Yep. Door will open. You will see an older woman standing there. Greetings. We'll be staying here tonight, the three of us. Make it we'll save. <laughs> oh my is this, god. Is this a suggestion? Limus. Yes. <laughs> Speak, as a note, your enchantment only works, you know, for a certain amount of time, but. <laughs> I, I ask her nicely, do you mind if we three of us stay tonight? <laughs> Let's see what she says. Well, she had an 11 on her will save, and she right, three of them? I think it's just you and uh, Maris. And oh, no, Maris is got also, yes, yeah. it's me and Ethelblad. Yeah, where's uh, Esmeralda? Oh, yeah, Esmeralda as well. Yeah, she will, See, I was right, three of us. She's the one who suggested it. She will be Off chopping wood anything. with okay. her very, very well crafted axe. Um, and uh, for one of the uh, people. Um, so you enchant someone into letting you stay with them. <laughs> Is that actually what you're doing? He's charmed to the, uh, oh, come on. No, well, he, he will think about it and he'll say, I can keep the place warm. I am, I'm a mage. Maybe spice your um, food, anything really. Burn the place down. No, I won't do that. Oh my God. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. The two grumpiest members of the party try to make persuasion. Twenty-one. <laughs> so good. She <laughs> looks. Like... So you can tell she is frightened by the 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 concept of the magic that you bring up, but you're able to phrase it in a way. No, it's not witchery. This is just simple magic. I can simply create. You know. I'm conjuring fire. I'm not, um, you know, making any sort of dark bargains or anything. You might not explain it that way, 
might be in Alimus's way, but the way you phrase it, the way you say it, she beckons you in. And you all find a place to stay for the night, and no one has to make constitution saves for sleeping out in the cold. <laughs> Sweet. But that'll be a long bubble. rest. Do you guys, as a note, you do intend on stopping Anna Kreskov from departing with the guards to Valaki? Um, we intend to go with her. Okay. She's, we, yeah. she's already left? Well, I, that's what I mean. You, you do intend to go with her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, with a few things slain, with Irina no longer with you, with your bard no longer with you, your druid also departed. The group looks different. And though with your new ally, I think things have begun to come into focus a bit more. I think that is where we will leave off for tonight. Dun, dun, dun.